Well, 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 welcome everybody to Definitely Not Fried Chicken, another stream of Definitely Not Fried Chicken, except today is the day we start all over. Yes, we start all over, and why do we start all over? Look, this is why. There was a hot fix number two that came out, which means there was an update to this game, which means... I'll go over the details here. So, uh, loading time has been optimized. That's good. <laughs> Expected reduction to 50% to most players, I guess. Whatever that means. Fixed an issue where having the character's items panel uh, while saving would corrupt saves. That's terrible. Glad that's fixed. They fixed a memory leak where using a heat map overlay in certain conditions uh, would result in a memory leak. Interesting. Fixed a hilarious issue, they might add, where the game could not be saved because an employee was stuck attacking the air. Interesting enough. Um, and then there's been various runtime opt optimizations as well with hotfix number two. <clears throat> now, with the nitty gritty stuff that I have to deal with, there's a list of updates that are making it from the beta branch, I guess. And these are the list of updates making it in from the beta branch. So I guess this is trans uh, transferred over into the hotfix number two. Auto save, auto save has been implemented. So yes, there is now an auto save feature in this game, so I don't need to manually save all the time. Auto save is here. Uh, you can change it from the uh, five minutes to 30 minutes in the settings. I did 30 minutes, so that's that. There was the issue causing saves to get stuck at 75%, which is the issue that I was going with, or that I had. And every time I got to 75% in my last save, it would just stay there and I could never access that world again. Sand face. Uh, this issue has been fixed, but however, we have to start a new file, which is where we're at now. Employees will not work on products which you don't have the necessary business license for. Your employees can finally work a donut shop properly. Well, that's good. I guess the employees can now finally work the donut shop, shop properly. UI updated to make uh, it clearer that you need to upgrade the business license to produce certain products. So this is the kind of thing that I've kind of talked about throughout these entire uh, this these entire streams is that definitely not fried chicken has like three major updates or maybe two major updates until full release. But every time they do these beta updates or maybe they do this and that, I feel like they're going to have to go back and iron out a few bugs. So their goal is six months. I think we're already five months into it or sorry, <laughs> we have five months left. We're already one month into the into the game here in early access. Who knows? Maybe they'll get it done uh, with all that being said. But uh, kind of like a rehash on what to expect going in going forward, I guess, uh, with the updates. There is the uh, Crystal Light, the meth <laughs> update, where uh, eventually we will be getting level two and level three. We'll get new businesses. We'll get a new special client. The story will be continued. I'm still questioning on that. What story? <laughs> Catalog extension apparently will also uh, be a thing as well and then 1.0 when it is fully released every single um every single product will be available all businesses will be available all special clients will be available and the story will end yeah so that's what we have here in hot fix number two uh so we are going to be starting a new save today that's going to be what we're doing and uh i mean maybe what i could do is not make a terrible looking place this time Maybe I can make a functional place. Now that I know and I got things and knowledge under my belt, under my head, under my forehead, maybe we could do a few things here and there, right? That's what I'm saying. Anyways, how's everyone doing? Hopefully everyone's having a good day today. Tanya, how you doing, Tanya? Danielle Smith, Masumi, how you doing? Susie, what's going on? Thank God it's Friday. That's right, huh? Thank God it's, fr it's Friday. How's it going? How you doing, Jefferson? Nancy, what's going on? What's going on? Hey, James. Hey, Ruth, what's going on? How you doing, Ruth? Um, hey, Hoppy, how's it going? Uh, how's life? Good, it's good, yeah, it's good, definitely for sure. Uh, P.S., did you just come out of the shower? I did just come out of the shower. Yes, thanks for, no <laughs> thanks for noticing. Yes, I did just come out of the shower. Hey, Jill, how you doing? Let's go ahead and, uh, and everyone lurking and smirking and possibly working. Let's jump into a new save. This will be... This is it. Dot, dot, dot. I think. I will not do the tutorial. I'm not that person anymore. Start the game. Let's see. Has the game uh, improved the loading? Because before it was very, very, like, slow, right? I wonder if they fix that high pitch beep also that happens. Because that beep scares me sometimes. Hey, Savvy Tech. How's it going, Savvy Tech? That's the wife telling you that? Well, you know what? That's the wife saying the wife is correct. Cheers to the wife. Yeah. <laughs> 
There's still the freaking beep. Oh, God. The scare beep. Yeah, this is what it's called. It's called the scare beep. I honestly want to make sure that now going forward, put the warehouse next to the garages. That's it, right? Put the warehouses next to the garages. That's all I want to do. That, that's it. Here we go. There's no scare beep. I didn't hear no scare beep. I hear I heard zero scare beep, okay? Zero scare beep. Look at me go. Anyways, this is our land. We know about it. Uh, let's pause the game first and foremost. Now, with this run, I shall talk to Mr. Astronaut Jack, and we shall be doing that. Yes, so we will be doing that going forward. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, first things first, buy a plot for free. Yes. Buy a plot for free. Second thing second, buy a second plot for free. <laughs> uh, third thing third, there's no third, just roll with that first okay right okay okay let's put a road in i guess you know honestly i could have done anywhere huh i didn't have to do the corner. well actually i did have to do the corner huh they only give you so many uh, options here i wish in the beginning they gave you more options should i move my forehead yeah that's a that's a no given that's a that's a no-brainer sorry there you go so we have a road we have a plot hmm how much you know what hang on a sec how much is another plot eleven thousand dollars i think i do it I, I i think i do it yeah i think i do it how's danielle she's doing good yeah hey lizzie how you doing lizzie i i think i do it yeah are you using the beta version i am not using the beta version i'm using whatever the build is i don't do the betas i don't do any of the betas i let the game flesh out Whenever the developers want it to be public, that's when I do it, right? I know the betas you can opt into. But I don't usually do betas, though. Okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and purchase this plot. It's a lot of money up front. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to build this side. Yes. This side of our compound for warehouse or stock rooms and, and things like that. Yeah. That's what I want to do. think <laughs> uh question in my own ability am i first thing we need is a freaking moped that's first thing right yeah first thing we need is moped so moped goes right there yo is that new is the light there new i feel like that's new maybe not maybe i'm just oh no that's the headlight <laughs> no okay so we have garage there right garage there then i want it to be stock room this way yeah i want the stock room to go this way um yeah storeroom whatever the heck it's called yeah I, I, I like that now do i give them a gap i think i should give them a gap i always give them a gap right yeah i got to place an exit my man hello this is where they exit out yes i would get the third plot the major obstacle at the beginning is your staff <sighs> okay yeah so we did that right okay so let's go here let's go i'm you know what there's a couple things going in my head here make it pretty make it not pretty make it pretty make it not pretty <sighs> do i go for efficiency or do i go for pretty right go for both well i mean i try let's see here how do i want to do this let's go storeroom right there i want a gap yes i do want a gap right there so we go storage room right there. How much money was that? Okay, that, that was quite a bit of money. This is going to be even more money. Okay, let's not do that much money. No, not not that much money. The first thing we're going to do is obviously make cannabis, right? We're going to make cannabis. We have a lot of different... Um, how do you call it? A lot of different... Ways to do this. Hey, Maggie. Hey, Vaughn. Um, I'm trying to think that if I build this grow room, I want it to kind of be somewhat permanent, but I don't think it's going to be permanent early on. It really isn't. So I think what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to build it out now, and that's going to be that, and then we'll probably adjust this later on. 
Really, the only thing we need to do currently is make sure we have an income. That's what we, that's, that's first things first, right? First things first, have an income. Everything will, will fall into place later on. Okay, I hate that already. <laughs> Let me go corridor. I want to do, well, let's not do, let's go one corridor. Yeah, let's go one corridor. Let's do that. I want a corridor on the side here. I do. I do, I do, I do. Yes, I like that. It looks ugly. I'll be the first, you know, I, I know. I, I'll be the first to tell you it looks terrible, but it's going to be functional. That is the, that's the point here. Functionality is what matters here. Now, everybody in chat should probably know this by now, and I've been hearing it through and through and through. If we have some pro, definitely not fried chickens in the chat, please stand up. No, but um, really, efficiency with growing plants. Correct me here, because this is the time to correct the forehead. One planter, one grower, is most efficient at four plots or four beds. Yes? Yes. I'll let that one marinate. <laughs> and I will plan for it regardless. But it should be four plots for one worker, right? I believe that's what it is. Now, let me go ahead and put some doors in while while I wait. Let's go. Like, that's ridiculous. Here, back to the Winchester doors, right? That's ridiculous. But we're going to do it because that's how ridiculous it is. Bam. All right. It's, it's something. It's something rather than nothing, right? One equals four. So, one equals four. So, how many people are we going to have here? Well... We already have a driver. We don't need to worry about that. We are going to have one worker. Oh, damn it. With the schedules and everything. I'm going to have to do that all over again, ain't I? I kind of forgot how we did the scheduling. Um, right. <clears throat> Engineers are going to be a thing. Cleaners and possibly guards now. We're going to have to worry about. Let's do. Yeah, let's do. Uh, worker. And then we will. Yeah, we will adjust the scheduling here. We will want to do four workers. Four workers, maybe? One engineer, one cleaner. Yes. Yeah. I think that's I think that's the way to go. I would like to do whoops. Uh I would like to do night shift and day shift. So day shift. One, two, three, four. I would like to do three shifts. One, no, two shifts is fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. And then the rest, you kind of just chill out. No? Is that efficient? I don't know. And I honestly don't know with people wanting to die because they're like, oh my god, you work me too hard. Look, I'm not the one working you too hard, sweetheart. Um, <sighs> then we go work. Maybe I don't give them a break there. Maybe I do just that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve and twelve. How about we do twelve and twelve? <laughs> Holy hell. Will they be pissed? Probably. Twelve and twelve. They might be extremely upset. They have twelve hours on, twelve hours off. You will do cannabis. Mr. Harper James. And you will be placed on day shift. We will then hire another person, Owen Lee, that will be placed on that. Honestly, you guys could probably do both of these. Or do I not do that? Or do I dedicate one worker? Maybe I have three workers right off the bat. I make this worker 
a delivery person and I put him on a sporadic schedule. For now, somewhat similar to a, you could argue, a engineer schedule. What do you think? I'll put two break there. I'll put one break there. Something like that. That could be engineer. That could be a uh, stock boy here. Mr. I'm going to go to the stock room. Yeah. I think that's fine. And then we go engineer. We say get hired. You will then be placed on number two. We will then go to cleaners. We will say get hired. You will also be placed on number two. And then we have enough room for one bodyguard too. Yeah. It's not a bad start. Place a trap and get the knife reward. Good shout. You will survive the chickens. F the chickens, first of all. Don't fully staff until the first attack. Now, this is the first time I've played this game without doing the tutorial, right? Yeah. So that leaves you with eight plots if you take two workers on the first 12 hours and two workers on the next 12 hours. Want to get too much there? He's going to die anyways. Not much equipment or personal personnel until after the first attack. They build up from there. Okay. So what triggers? If anybody knows what triggers the first attack, let me know. So I'm going to hold off on hiring a guard for now because I don't know exactly everything that we have. I'm not even going to buy equipment yet. At least equipment as in like clothing. So I'm not going to buy that stuff yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start doing this though. Yeah. KFC man means cans said F the chickens. That That is right. <laughs> you are 100% you are correct on that. Yeah, you are absolutely correct on that. Okay. So let's see here. We're going to go drying rack, obviously. We're going to get... Oh, crap. Let's actually push that right there. And we're going to put that right there. Perfect. Okay. So we have two guys, one of which will do day shift, one of which will do night shift. So technically, all we really need is four plots right now. Now, I think I might just kind of say F it and just buy them. What the hell is this? Buy them. Oh, you dirty, dirty girl. Uh, sorry, my apologies. <laughs> Guard. <laughs> Gardening gloves, and that's it for now. All right, let's do that. Let's do that. Now, a baseball bat is is possible, right? So there's going to be a thing that we're going to do too. We're going to kind of prioritize a little bit different than we did last time. Last time we didn't really, uh, you know, we didn't do well. Well, I mean, I don't know. We did well. We ended we ended very well towards. I mean, we did decent towards the end. Don't tell me I didn't, because we did. Um. Yeah, we did. We did. We did decent, dude. We did decent. Especially where we were li like, we were living the best life towards the end of our playthrough last time. But what I'm going to do different is it's all going to come down to hotlines. Now, the question is, how fast will they be able to produce this, right? How fast will they be able to produce this green stuff, so to speak? So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring this a little bit closer for now. And then we're going to light it up, obviously, right? Let's light this son of a gun up. Traps. Honestly, I hate traps. <laughs> I think the traps are kind of like garbage. At least the beginning traps. Okay. They have light. They have the, the full giddy up. They're ready to go. They're ready to be sent. We have $22,000. We can expect to be, you know, doing something here. Now, if this actually goes fast, right? I might buy another moped instead. You know, I might buy another moped. Now, I'm not sold on this storeroom. I'll be real with you. I'm not sold on it. There's actually something I want to do differently about this storage room. But this is going to be fine for now. We'll be fine. I'm going to have to put in, like, toilets and bedrooms and all this nonsense, too, huh? Okay, so let's, let's start putting in that nonsense. Let's go ahead and start putting in a corridor. 
expanded out. I do believe this is a big enough area for the green oregano. Yeah, I do. So I think what I might do is I might run a corridor up there maybe? No. So my thought process here is to have the road, the storage, the grows. You see how I did that with the mouse cursor? That's my thought process. Road, storage, grows. Vertically going up <laughs> until it can't no more. That's my thought process here. So I'm going to just place down a bedroom. I'm going to place down a bathroom. Um, this again is not going to be permanent. This is just going to be a thing that we have. Yeah. So let's just go. Uh, frick, I guess. Like that. I guess that's fine. As long as I get throw uh, like two beds in here. Should be okay. I mean, do I really need to, to have a bookshelf? Really? Like, I don't, I don't think so, but there we go. In a, in a locker. There you go. And, and, and then like a door. I'm not doing Winchester doors. They go through here. Okay, I'm doing Winchester doors. They go through there too. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. I, I like the doors. I'm a big fan of the doors. And then what we'll do is we'll then just kind of continue this corridor coming out this way. Whoop. And then we'll add like the bathroom, you know. We'll have the bathroom over here, you know, nice little bathroom. Tiny bathroom. Tiny bathroom. Yeah. And then we got to make sure that they have a sink. We got to make sure that they have a... That's not going to work. Uh, a, a blow dryer. So let's go one more out. Oh, damn. A freaking shower, too. Uh, let's go blow dryer and then let's go shower very bare minimum is what we're going with here i'm gonna go like this okay. now as far as uh kitchen goes well that's you know that's gonna be something yeah that's gonna be something let's go here uh, i don't like it i don't like it i'm i i i'm not a fan not a fan at all okay how about we go break room Corridor. Okay. Break room. And then somewhat of a kitchen back here. I can't, the, Okay, so what I'm thinking is I want the kitchen to be somewhat big too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I want it to be kind of big. Have the game been updated and how much is the game? The game has been hot fixed and the game is $24.99. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the kitchen thrown into here. I want a bigger kitchen-ish. Unlike last time. Yeah. Break room looks damn awful. But I'm confident in its ability. Again, this is all temp too so no stress about it right now we're not stressing about this we, i mean you might be stressing about it but i'm not stressing about it so i'm more i'm more more set on like we're gonna need money here eventually corridors look corridors can be placed and and redone easily i'm a corridor fan i like the corridor action okay you're never gonna not tell me never to not have a corridor it just is what it is right it just is what it is. Let's go that. This is all they get for now. This will change. This will change. Now, there's really not a point to having this corridor here. Really, there isn't. Now, thinking about it, because they're not going to use this corridor right now. So... Let's, let's see, look at us, look at us go. We're going ahead and we're using our noggin. See, this is all you have to do to use your freaking noggin. Just let it play out and it'll play you, right? Absolutely. That's all you gotta do. Let it play out and it will play you. Okay, let's go ahead and grab that, please and thank you. Perfect. I like it. 
And then let's go with, not the big TV, the arcade cabinet. I can get behind the arcade cabinet. I can get behind the coffee maker, coffee machine. And I can also get behind the uh, F. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I can get behind the F. Um, yeah, that, that's fine. That's fine. Hey! Lizzie, Lizzie with the five gifted memberships. Look at that. Five gifted membership. Shout out to Darren, Alexandria, Matt Key, Elizette, and Huffy T for picking up a membership. Look at that. Look at that. Big ups to you. Hope you're doing well. Big, big ups to you. Yeah. That seems ridiculous now. Let's get rid of that. If I'm going to have a vending machine, it's going to be in the kitchen, I guess. Hope you're doing well, Lizzie. Thank you for the generosity. How much money do we have? $17,000? I, 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 you know, I'm spending a lot of money here now, ain't I? Let's go uh, counter. And I, this is the biggest thing I wanted. The biggest thing I wanted was a dining table. We'll go dining table. And then let's go cooker. Let's go refrigerator. Let's go microwave. Let's go counter. Well, I'm not going to put another coffee maker down if I have a coffee thing right there. Let's go sink, because we never had a sink before. So let's do a sink this time. Chopping board for preparing more fulfilling meals. I, I like that a lot too. So let's put another kitchen counter down and let's put a chopping board because we've never done that either. Okay, all right, very well. New things that we're adding. Winchester door, don't forget it. Now this seems appropriate. Now we have made a full on circle. Now they can do their business, have fun and not kill each other. Or something rather or kill themselves okie dokie all right so fifteen thousand dollars is in our pocket that's good that's great that's grand that's nice um having another moped yeah probably is gonna happen probably but i don't want to spend more money right now until uh we get this so now we have a hotline so to speak but we're gonna get attacked right so once we get attacked that's when things get a little spicy so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press play. I'm going to play out. $10,000 in our pocket, right? Don't forget the trash can in the kitchen. Okay, you know what? Fair enough. Let's see here. Put, you, you want a trash can in there? Let's put a trash can in there. Trash can in the kitchen. Perfect. Okay. Let's watch them do their thing. So we should have one worker doing his thing. One worker waiting for the night shift so that there's a continuous... Uh, flow of action here Continuous flow of action of growing other than that everybody else is kind of just chilling. I will wait I will wait for uh, it. Look, we're probably gonna get smacked in the face by a chicken or two And I'm just waiting for that now as far as moped goes Let's take you down take you down to just basic dumb it down here, right dumb it down now honestly you can kind of say, let's start getting uh, let's start getting ahead of the game here. Let's send the son of a gun to the to the gun shop, yeah? Let's start sending him to the gun shop. Maybe we can pop a get a, a nine or something, you know? Pull out the gat. Maybe we can start doing that right away. You know what I mean? See? Yeah. Pull out the nine and bust the cap. Pull out my nine and my money and my money and my mind. That's supposed to be a Jim Carrey reference there, but didn't go so hot. Good thing I was wearing neutral gang colors. I would have to bust a cap. Anyways, still bad at the at the Jim Carrey reference there. <clears throat> All right, so this product will go directly to the gun shop. We have the enough money to hold our expenses over for now, right? In order for this son of a gun to make us a little bit of, uh, you know, hoo ha. Hoo ha indeed. I'm not messing around with no freaking chickens, dude. I might buy another moped, though. I am going to buy another moped. Let's get another moped running. Perfect. I'm not messing around, chickens. This is it. <laughs> I'm just warming up. You want some uh, deep fried chicken? You want some baked chicken tonight? You want a baked ziti? Okay, that's not chicken. It's something else. I think that's something from like, I think a baked ziti, a five cheese ziti. I think that's from Olive Garden. Okay. Look, my good man, you will be sending off with just that. 
And you will also be going to the gun shop as well. Yeah, believe it or not. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Uh, maybe I don't do that. Maybe I kind of spread out my... Uh, 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 yeah, maybe I diversify a little bit. Should I diversify? Cannabis production. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I'm in the business. Look, I'm the one running this ship. You're just holding on. I want... I want protection. Yeah. I'm having a party tonight. Basic bat... Oh, son of a gun. Reject that. My bad. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm not doing bad quality. I'm doing excellent quality stuff over here, dude. Don't give me bad. Okay. Hey, Phoenix. How's it going? Oh, yeah, yeah. You think you... Yeah. Oh, so you're dealing dope now, are you? I knew I was right to fire you. I'm sending a few of my boys around to cluck you up. I'm going to cluck you up. Okay. Pause. We hit an immediate pause. As soon as he says, I'm going to cluck you up, I hit pause. Why? Because I want to see where these sons of guns are coming from, right? I actually do want to kind of give like a legitimate like fight, but I guess the first attack is always pointless. Now, I personally don't like this because you start a new game, you already know you're going to get attacked. So why start up your business, right? Somebody did mention it in the chat already, but it just has like a, I don't know. It just seems kind of weird. It's too linear. Okay, look here, you son of a gun. You got baseball bats? We're going to get it. We're going to get it. Okay, everybody hold on tight. We're going to, I'm going to fight back. I, I'm not, I'm not doing no coward stuff. We're going to fight back if we can. Uh, so, I don't know if they will fight back, like an engineer, for an example. Will you fight back if I give you a baseball bat? I don't know. I guess we can test it. Let's give you a baseball bat. Let's give you a baseball bat. Now, one thing tells me here that if they can't fight back because they're not bodyguards, that would really suck. Why? Because what's the point of giving them a baseball bat, right? Now, I can obviously put some traps in, right? We'll, we'll do that. We'll play the trap game. Uh, let's slow down time, though, before I do this. Let's, like, rimworld it here. Okay. All right. At least they're not spawned inside of our freaking building this time. I'm going to buy a bunch of traps. They only have one way in. Don't step on the trap, you forehead. Okay, let's see what happens, shall we? Yo, the man. Okay, don't, don't, don't rush him. Don't rush him. You're gonna step on the trap, and I'm gonna be super upset. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, one chicken got caught. That's good. Okay, you. You idiot! You idiot! Our guy got caught in the trap. Two chickens in the trap, one... Look at them. Look at them, you coward. Use the baseball bat. You absolute coward. Fight back. What do I have? A bunch of pansies here? Come on now. You... Get out. He lost his head. He deserves it. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Don't get him in the bathroom. He's he's just chilling, dude. He's trying to drop a dude. Please don't tell me we ran into a bug here. <laughs> Please don't tell me we ran it. Just go away. Go away, chicken chickens. Thank you for going away. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. So there's a few things, obviously, that I'll, I'll, I'll take from here. Um, that Things that can be worked on. I mean, it's, 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 it's obvious, right? It's obvious. I'm not a big fan of your people stepping on traps. Does it break immersion? Honestly, I don't think it does. I'm not a big fan of your own people stepping on traps. Like in RimWorld, you don't really ever have to worry about people stepping on traps, right? Or any other game. 
whether it be like Stranded Alien Dawn, whatever those games, you don't have to worry about that, right? Not a big fan of that. So that's that's one thing I'll say. Another thing I'm not a big fan of is giving the ability of engineers, janitors, baseball bats. They obviously don't use them, and we tested that out. So just get rid of the option for them. Any casual player playing this, any new player playing this might think, hey, you know what? It'd be a great idea to give this guy a baseball bat because it says I can, but they're not going to use it. So I think with different workers, just not being, you know, just don't give them, don't give them the option because that could really waste a lot of time. And I, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't know. Anyways. Yeah, this is just, this is a, this is a hot mess now, isn't it? Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just sell all these traps. That is what it is. That is what it is. And then we're going to rehire. And that's going to be that. Right? We're going to rehire. So let's go ahead and rehire. What do we have? Three. And then we had an engineer. And then we had a janitor. We did not buy a bodyguard. So when you do start out this game, it is entirely impossible to fight back your first attack. And that's probably just how the game is supposed to meant to be played. I don't have a problem with that. Um, but just, you know, for people's reference or people like information wise, you're not going to be uh, able to fight back your first attack. You will lose a head in this case. <laughs> you, you you will lose a, lose a head. So, yeah, just be mindful about that if you're starting out a new game. Okay. With that being said, uh, let's go ahead and get the new people in. And let's buy them gloves. So there's some gloves for you. Uh, honestly, you don't need gloves, but that's all right. Cool. Cool. And we'll get back to work, I guess, so to speak. We'll get back to work. Delete the door. That seems cheeky. Hey, Naomi, today is my birthday in your stream, and it's a great day. Have a good day, Naomi. Happy birthday to you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a fantastic birthday. And happy birthday to Phoenix's husband's birth or husband as well. Absolutely. <clears throat> Even if you give workers a semi-auto gun, they won't fire. They will actually surrender. See, and that's, you know, I don't like, I don't, I personally don't like that. Just don't give them the option of having a gun. If they're not going to use it, just don't just don't give them any options to have weapons, right? <laughs> okay, so astronaut Jack. Good day, sir. Would you be willing to trade us some of your herbs? I want to get higher than that time I went to the moon. We will be doing astronaut Jack. Hello, yes. Uh, oh, wait, what does he say? We're coming up to the final countdown. Almost ready for launch. Can you help? Yes, we will help you. Neat. For science. Absolutely for science. Did you claim the knives? Um, I don't think you get the knives unless you do the tutorial. I could be wrong about that, but you don't get a few things unless you do the tutorial, right? Um, we did not do the tutorial. So let's go ahead and kind of stop it with the gun shop and say, you know what? It's been real, but honestly, you can politely F off. Astronaut Jack. Now, Astronaut Jack is asking for one-star quality cannabis, but I've been told multiple times that it's fine. You can actually just send them anything, and it should be okay. So we're going to test that theory out, too. Jack is one star, so I've been told that you can do multiple stars. It doesn't have to be a one-star cannabis, but again, I've heard two different things. We're going to test it out ourselves and see where that goes. Mm-mm. <laughs> hey runes one how you doing what's going on runes one hey edward how you doing edward i just arrived at the spawn change for the attack well at least for that one that one they actually spawned way over here so that was nice they didn't spawn inside which i really appreciated oh the criminal education claim oh i see you mean the claims well no we did not do that i don't know what the heck do we need we did that, right? Yeah, we did that. That was not a spoon. So, okay, you place a trap, you can get a knife. Very well. Well, we have the knife now. 
I don't think that means that would have made a difference. The only thing that would have made a difference if we would have actually, if we would have actually like just hired bodyguards straight up. So I guess like in the beginning, whenever you play this game, if you start over again, since we already know what happens, just like get bodyguards, I guess, and then fire the bodyguards after the attack. I guess, right? That's one way to do it. Let's get fast forward here. I'm so terribly sorry for the body. <laughs> for the body's just chilling here. Oy, oy, oy. I'm having a party tonight. Yeah, sure. We'll accept that. Okay. Right. So, let's chop it up. Let's get it going. How's our mopeds doing? Really, I, I also feel like beelining it to uh, the scrapyard for cars would not be a bad idea, too. The faster we get the cars, the better, maybe? I don't know. Possibly. Okay, so let's see here. Let's test it out. So we have one moped going to Astronaut Jack. I don't know if they already delivered, so I'm going to keep my eye on that for right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at the gun shop. We have nine points. It's, I mean, quite a bit away from guns now, isn't it? It is quite a bit away. Um, I forget now, huh? Mopeds are one at a time. Money's going to become a problem before you know it. Okay. So, let's do... Let's get you off the gun shop and do Adam for right now. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Hey, Kalia. How you doing, Kalia? What's going on? How are you? Hope you're having a good time. Hope you're having a good day. When you are so high, you can't do anything but lay on the dirty ground. I'm sorry. Why are you laying on the dirty ground? I guess they were high. I guess. I don't know. They were so high that they had to lay on the dirty ground. Don't use the dirty ground. You know what? Actually, we could probably throw in a, a couple more mopeds and kind of just go with that, right? How much is the moped again? $75 a day. That's not too bad. Can I throw in two? Two more? Let's do that. Let's get more mopeds rolling. Let's put them all on the same thing. No, 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 no. Okay. No, 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 and no. You will be going to Adam. You will be going to Adam. And where is our boy going to Astronaut Jack? Okay, so here we go. Astronaut Jack is about to get a delivery. Will he accept three stars? I hope to God he does. Please accept three stars. This is for science. Okay, well, there we go. For science. Uh, he does. He does accept three stars. So that's good to know. So we'll have him on, like, the go. We'll have, like, him getting free samples. So I like that. Cool. I approve. They sure do love going through doors. That's the that's the best part of it. <laughs> they just oh, this is so fun. Let me open and close the door, please. Okay, so this should be good. We should be a okay to go. As long as we can make. Wait a sec. I think with stats. A total. So our wait a sec. Is this today day zero? I guess so. Um, so 492 that, 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 so $832 a day is what we spend. So if we can at least make one of those one dispatches a day, which is $1,100 that covers our expenses and actually gives us a little bit of profit in return too, but we have to make at least one of those deliveries a day. There we go. I have four delivery people. Yes. It's a good day. It's a good day. It's a good day to be delivering cannabis. Actually, it's a good day. It's a good day to be delivering oregano. Don't you know? This will take a while. Astronaut will take a lot. You know, we'll take a while. We're already up to four on Adam. And luckily, Adam is like right around the corner here. I think this is probably our best practice. 
I mean, really, we could take the, the moped off of Astronaut Jack and get guns and stuff. But I don't think it's, 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 I don't think it's, I mean, it's not worth it because we don't get attacked again, right? I mean, we, I mean, we do get attacked again, but we don't get attacked until we trigger, like, I think opening up a business, right? Once we get our first laundromat, then we will get attacked again. So we can build up until that point, I'm pretty sure. I think that's the next attack. At least I hope so. Now, we could make rooms and things like that, like sections to where people like do things. But right now, the only benefit with sections and rooms would be like the janitors. If you're in England or a Gano, is that what it is? Or a Gano in England? Don't people like with heavy accents in Europe, don't they say like think, right? They're like, let me think about that. But really they say, let me think about that. They say it with like an F or something. <laughs> or is that just me? Do I just hear it wrong? But it sounds like they say, let me think about it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I could be wrong about that, though. Now, we do have one open... We do have one open slot here. And what I mean by open slot, I mean by, like, worker. We could say... We have one worker doing day shift, one worker doing night shift, one worker doing sporadic... You know sporadic uh storage so to speak storeroom this person's hungry let me watch these people make sure they're okay like your health is fine right uh, questionable i mean you are doing 12 hours a day i could have another grower i guess and then they could be i just got to make sure they don't die on me huh let me just watch them. Because I haven't checked this 12-hour format yet. Really, very much. What kind of hats can I give you? A Santa hat? A chicken hat? A chef's hat? How about a chef's kiss? Santa? Chicken? What is the Santa thing all about? I don't know his schedule. I think he ends at 5 or 6. I'm gonna watch him carefully. Okay, one of the engineer. Okay, engineer needs to get up in that right now. Uh, engineer, I know you might be on break, but this is not the time to break. This is time to get this going. So you are what, five or six a.m.? You're done. Make sure you don't die. Okay, he's reading a book because he's bored. Okay. So I think he's off now. I think he's now off. The other guy should be rolling in now. They're watching Seinfeld. Perfect. I don't know. He's still working, though. I thought it was five or six. Engineer's doing good. Okay. This guy is coming in. All right. So it is six. So now he can take care of all of his needs. So he does have enough time to take care of all of his needs for 12 hours straight. At least he should, right? There we go. Yeah. He's good. Then he'll be able to do his food. Then he'll go to bed. All right, yeah, he should be fine. So 12 hours on, 12 hours off. As long as nobody dies, right? Let's go to bed. Perfect. Cool. That works. Now, as far as you, F. Our dispatch is done, right? Okay, good. Let's see. Uh, let's start taking you to... Not you. Taking... You know what? Let's start taking you to there. You off of there. So I can keep organization going here. Let's put you over here in Dominic. You over here in Dominic. And maybe even throw you over here at the scrapyard. So we'll have two people do one hotline at a time. We'll have the one going for an astronaut Jack. Jack and one going for scrapyard so we can try to get like a work on uh, vehicles and things like that. Cool. I like it. Hey, Mick Squeeze, how you doing? I just sent out a two-star quality uh, plant. That's terrible. I, I actually blame my uh, engineer for that. 
Uh, there's a part of me that wants to do... Okay, so there's a part of me that wants to do a... There's a part of me that wants to do a grower. So since we have like 12 hours on, 12 hours off, there's a part of me that wants to do like a grower 12 hours in between. So that every hour is covered. But that might throw in a little bit of overlap. I mean, at this stage in the game, we are making money, so. What are you upset about? You tired? Go go sleep, Kaylee James. Go to bed. You have all this free time, yeah? Well, I guess not, because you might be the storage room person, huh? Yeah, you are the storage room person. Your job can't be that hard. All you're doing is picking up the box out of the shelf and putting it in the moped. They're not even that heavy boxes either. I can't imagine it's a heavy box. Now, if we really wanted to upgrade, we're looking at, what are we looking at? Are we looking at, I would go probably vertical. Yeah, I'd go vertical. 11,000. Okay. And how much were the businesses again? They were, they were 3,000, 3,000. Okay, 3,000. And then the land I believe was 3,000 as well. So 6,000 all total. This would be definitely way too premature to do that, I think. We still have so much room back here to do something. We still have a little bit of room right here if we wanted to add more storage room, which, yeah, this entire wall here will be storage room as we go up. And then we'll have, like, breaks in between, like, doors and things like that so that they can uh, take these guys out. Cool. Let's take a look at our points at the scrapyard. Better lights... Fences and doors. The car is just 90. That's going to be a hot minute. We're going to have to get, like, toasted and things like that. We're getting the laundromat or the donut shop first. Um, probably the laundromat first, yeah. Only because it... I feel like, again, it, it's one of those linear things. Like, you should go for the, for the laundromat because it will give you that much more profit. And it's very, uh, in a, it's very inexpensive to do, if that makes sense. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to hire another storage person. Um, when you do the donut shop, it just costs so much to not only... I mean, you have to buy the license and the land for it, but, like, the, the equipment is so much money compared to, like, the laundromat. Then you got to worry about the donuts and all that, and then the staffing as well. So, yeah, probably just the laundromat. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to run a fourth worker. Yeah. Yeah. Is that Kaylee? Yeah, okay, that's Kaylee. Okay, we're going to run a fourth worker. I'm going to go worker. We're going to hire an employee. And then we're going to put this employee. We're going to switch these guys to night shift and uh, day shift. So, Kaylee, you are going to go to... Morning shift. Jace, you're going to go to night shift. Perfect. Yep. That's what we're going to do. Sounds good to me. Oh, the university has clothes and things like that, too. Yeah, plus you don't have to do the varieties of flavors when it comes to the donuts and the chicken. Yeah. I, I do feel like it is kind of a linear way of playing the game. Like, if you started out, I mean, I guess you could really, 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 if you wanted to. Why is the janitor not doing his thing over here? Uh, janitor, where are you? Uh, janitor, where are you? Are you sleeping, janitor? S janitor was sleeping. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I feel like... You can't really, like, hop around, I guess, so to speak. You're meant to play the game one by one. Like, you're meant to play the game laundromat, donut, chicken, lobster, nightclub, casino, I guess, right? If you make a hallway from the top of the grow room to the garage, you can block that part off from access. Oh, you mean like right here? Four door that off? Let's go. 
grab that. Thank you. How are we doing here? Dominic's still getting that, mm, <laughs> that oregano, maybe. Hey, Yuki. Yuki says, oh, my God, I caught a live stream. Welcome, Yuki. How you doing, Yuki? What's going on? Hey, Yuki. Hey, Mel. How you doing, Mel? No more lurking. <laughs> We'll get a little bit of money here. And rightfully so, right? If this is... Oh, this is Owen. Owen. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I'm starting to feel it. I'm starting to see it. If the 12-hour format is just too much for them, I'll have to change it. But we'll, we'll, I'll keep my eye on it. I don't think anybody has, like, died. So, I mean, that's... That's progress. <laughs> the fact that there's, like, garbage here, right? Urine, coffee, and the janitor is not taking care of that that kind of scares me a bit ah because he's on uh, that he needs to be on a different schedule same with the engineer he needs to be on a different schedule they need to be on the sporadic schedule and since i rehired them they weren't so that that should fix all of my problems now thank you not paying you to do nothing here this place looks filthy too there's always like ways to go around this because like even like the um even like the university would be in handy because like the clothing and stuff like this is easy points right this is super easy i feel like i should be going for this gardener's outfit yeah hell yeah university should be like top of the notch right i agree let's take your ass off the scrapyard and take you to the university baby that's what we're gonna do i mean 10 points to get a gardener's outfit yeah that's that's smart business. You saw four people getting clubbed to death. One of them lost a head. Sup, Heisenberg? How you doing, Darren? <laughs> what was the... Uh... Oh, it's just the... Yeah, university's probably top-notch right now. Yeah. University's top notch. I feel like university is probably the one thing you should go at it. Like, we already know that in the beginning of your start, when you start the game, you're not going to be able to fight off the attack. There's no point in going to the gun shop. Just send your people off to the university as fast as possible. That's kind of where I'm where I'm at now. I, I'm, I'm feeling that. Aaliyah James, let's go to Aaliyah. Rest in peace, Aaliyah. Gone too soon. I mean, if anything, we're not getting backed up here, so that, 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 that's a good thing. We're sending this stuff out fast, fast, and fast. And hey, we're doing way better than we did the first time we played, I guess you could say. Like, we're, we're not stressing about money. We have a game plan. We have a system down. It's working. We're doing four plants at a time. We have a night shift, day shift. We have constant bringings of, of, of product. It's all good in the hood for the most part, yeah. I haven't thought about that artist in forever. I know, right? She put out some absolute bangers back in the 90s. One of the most tragic deaths, too. Never would have expected. Oh, frick. My coaster. My coaster's getting stuck to my cup. And this is fine. Having all these people kind of like call us up and say, yay, yo. We need some yay, yo. Plane crash, right? Yeah, exactly. A plane crash. Like, what a very unexpected way. Died, right. Died flying home after recording the video, Rock the Boat. Isn't that insane? It's so crazy, man. Freaking crazy. Okay, let's take a look at our um, uh, university points. We have no university points. Three points ain't gonna get us nothing. This ain't gonna get us nothing either. Nine points. 
this is where we want to live. Yeah, this is where we want to live. Even here we want to live as well. But mostly this. This is where we want to live right now. <laughs> How's astronaut Jack doing? Well, Jack is getting jacked up for seven uh, seven hits of oregano. He's got thirteen left to go. That's on him. That's on him for sure. I honestly don't think there's really anything that we need to improve on right now. I think the shifts are solid. I think they're not dying. I mean, that's makes them solid. Are they efficient? I believe so. Yeah. I mean, we have stuff lined up. We have a good system here. The mopeds are out at full force. We are delivering two and we are making money every single day. At least if we can do one delivery a day that keeps us above uh, water, our head above water, so to speak, because our daily expenses are what again? $932. So if we could do one dispatch a day, we're making $200 a day. It's not much, but we're not going into debt. So that's good. If we could do two dispatch in one day, that's even better, right? So yeah, I do like that. I do like what we have going on here. It's a little bit of a slow start, but we'll, we'll get there eventually. Once we start getting this uh, clothing for the university, I think that should pick up a few things, right? I mean, once we get the freaking hat, the, the, the gardening outfit, the boots, should make our lives a little bit easier, possibly. What the heck is this, like, Sam Fisher night vision? What the hell? Spacesuit? What the heck is the difference of a spacesuit and an astronaut suit? Meth lab gloves? Night vision? Cocaine? Wait, space suits? Work with cocaine? I am so confused. So apparently there's an astronaut suit and a space suit in this game. Both of which you would think are the same. <laughs> Who knows? I think what's really saving... I think what's really making this 12-hour schedule work is the fact that we have a full-fledged kitchen now. I think we're benefiting a lot from the kitchen to make this 12-hour format possible. Yeah. Are we going to Jupiter now? At least in our minds? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I would not want to go to Jupiter. Isn't there like a joke saying like, you know, there's only seven uh, seven planets in the solar uh, solar system. There's only seven planets, you know, right? Because there was like nine planets when I was growing up, at least in school, right? There was nine planets when I was growing up. Then Pluto disappeared. And then Uranus got demolished. With the cheeky uh, jokes I have, Molly Joe with the 20, whoa, 20 gifted membership after what I just said. My good God, 20 gifted membership. That is massive. That is massive. That's a big hit right there, ladies and gentlemen. 20 gifted membership. Holy crap. Thank you very much. That was very, very kind of you. Shout out to the 20 people of Mel, Debbie, Ava, an Enlightened, Soshi Dog, uh, Roma, Hilmi, Parth, Six Deadly Kids, my lord, Daniela, <laughs> Linda, uh, Abdul Kadar, Merlin, La Lu, jo Johan, Fodery B, Alex, Kirsty, Breaks, Leanne, all picking up those gifted memberships. Holy mo moly. Holy moly molly. Molly moly. Moly molly. On behalf of those 20 people, we say thank you very much. Thank you. Molly Joe freaking snow. Look at that. Look at that. That was very, very kind of you. Jeez Louise. Very kind of you. Big ups to Molly Joe. Hope you're doing good, Molly. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a fantastic February. And hope you and the missus 
have something special planned for Valentine's Day coming up in a few days. Darren, with the super chat, also says Uranus jokes are always welcome. See? Exactly. <laughs> that is massive, just like Uranus. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> exactly. Of course. Of course. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. Jamie Wood to you now. That was very kind. Thank you very much, Darren. And thank you very much, Molly, with the massive just gifted membership. So big, so massive. Things like that help the channel every single day. Thank you for the support. Appreciate that very much. Rip to Pluto. And look at that. A big another hit on a 10 gifted membership bomb gifted by Lizzie. Now, Lizzie handing out 10 memberships. Holy moly. Look at this. Look at this. This is all going crazy. Now, we got Lizzie giving off. A gifted membership to Day Day, to uh, Mariana, to John Boy, Villain Attic, EJ, Surrey Spade, Sky Wolf, Fleming Lund, Aaron, Mad Margin. Big ups to those 10 people that just got a gifted membership from Lizzie. That was very kind to of you as well. That was a massive gifted membership as well. Big, big gifted membership. I do not take any of this lightly, my lord. Look at that. Look at that. 10 more on it. 20 get the subs to celebrate Fabulous Forehead Fa Friday. Oh, Fabulous Forehead Friday. Look at that. <laughs> Watch and stream on mute while I finish up work meetings. Hopefully can start watching for real soon. Oh, big shout to you. Hopefully you're doing well, yeah? And Tanya, Tanya with the gifted 20 super chat. Holy moly. The stream is going to read it off here in a bit, but I'm going to read it off here before the stream does. Saying, hopefully this will bribe you to do a longer stream today. Oh, very, very thankful. Thank you, Tanya, for the gifted 20. That was very, very special of you. Thank you for the 20 super chat. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate that. And the mix squeeze coming in. Hey. Uranus jokes are always welcome. There you go. The mix squeeze coming in with the five super chat saying, Welcome to the best chat around, everyone. Let's keep the train rolling. Thank you. I appreciate that, mix squeeze. Very, very kind of you. Very kind of you, indeed. Thank you all for the generosity today, folks. Appreciate that. It just takes one person to just send it off, doesn't it? And then the train keeps going until it gets derailed. I'm probably the one to, to, to derail it because I come up with the Uranus jokes. But other than that, thank you all for that very very big kindness i appreciate that yeah all the new members don't forget to check take a look at the new members videos as well yeah good shout there Susie. good shout indeed we got 11 with astronaut jack thank you i appreciate that hey alex hey other alex hey both alexes how you doing very kind of you very very kind of you thank you all appreciate that again I, you know i say it all the time but like honestly like i'm not the biggest content creator out there i would classify myself as a small content creator and um you know the support and the generosity that comes from the community is the only reason that you know one of the big reasons that i can do this every single day so thank you all especially for giving me the ability to do this every single day you know i'm not a, i'm not a big creator and you know, and I appreciate that. I do appreciate that very much. You, you, you all keep my sanity going for the most part. And Savvy Tech, Savvy Tech, thank you very much for becoming a member of the channel. That was very, very kind of you. Very generous of you as well. Welcome, Savvy Tech, to, uh, to the membership. Yeah, welcome. Welcome to the, welcome to, I don't even know what to call us, but welcome. Uh, thank you for becoming a member. Yeah, is all I can really say. Did I kick off a love riot? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Appreciate that. Yeah, now that if you did become a new member, you could show off those uh, emojis as well. Absolutely. We don't want you res resorting to work at the Radio Shack again. <laughs> I don't have a choice. I can't go back there. It's gone. Rest in peace. <laughs>
Hey, here. Hopefully this will bribe you to do a longer stream today. Smiley face. <laughs> Welcome to the best chat around everyone. Let's keep this train rolling. You're making me blush. Don't make me blush now. Appreciate that. We are kind of like sitting idle right now because uh, we're really just kind of collecting as we go. But we could at least probably, no, not yet. Still not enough for the for the for the farmers market looking outfit yet that's that's a shame but we're still kind of playing a little bit of idle game here the only thing i wish i youtube would allow is for to give spe uh, specific people membership uh, yeah and maybe they'll change that in the future kind of like how twitch does maybe they'll change that you never know but i agree I tried streaming for a while, had a few people come and watch, but life got in the way and I couldn't continue. I love seeing people who deserve it. Yeah, you know, and, and that's the thing, Miss Squeeze, uh, Mick Squeeze, is um, I'm kind of in the same, uh, well, not in the same boat, but I was in the same boat where I did streaming uh, back in 2013, 2014. I had like, I had around 90 people watch me on Twitch back in those days. And, um, Terrible things happened in my life. Life got in the way at that point, and I had to stop streaming. And all those people just ended up kind of like, you know, they moved on, right? Rightfully so. So, but, and then it kind of really demoralized me. And then eventually I started back up again, not on Twitch. Well, I did a little bit of Twitch, but then transitioned fully to uh, YouTube uh, in 2020 when the world was shut down <laughs> for the most part. Yeah. Twenty out of twelve out of twenty on Mr. Astronaut freaking Jack there. I'm picking up all these too while we're at it. <laughs> Just say thanks for becoming a forehead on only cans. There you go, that's a good saying. <laughs> I used to stream World of Warships and Mech Warrior Online, but got tired of being harassed for being a woman playing those games. Really, that's terrible to hear. That's terrible to hear. When I was starting YouTube out, I was kind of back and forth a little bit. I was actually, there's actually playlists that I have here on, on YouTube where I did play, um, I, I did stream on Twitch for a little bit. Uh, back in 2020 and I would put the VODs on my YouTube channel and um, it was it was decent it was okay you know it was nice on Twitch but that was during the time it was like 2020 like I said that was during the time where they started to do like hate raids and stuff like people would get into like these reddit forums and like they would target specific people and they they would start doing hate raids on people and that's kind of like around the time where I just stopped streaming on Twitch and I started focusing solely on YouTube. Not just because of that reason, but I mean, that was also a, like another nice, you know, not a nice, but another another reason to kind of like focus on YouTube. Plus, whenever you're starting out YouTube, it's super hard to transition people from YouTube to Twitch, you know? Like you build an audience on YouTube and you're like, hey, come watch me on Twitch. That's super hard to do. Not a lot of people do that because they people have their preference of choice when it comes to platforms and you know that that is what it is not saying that that will never happen here because the, i can't ever predict that kind of future and i can't ever predict that certainty that i won't ever stream on twitch um it's just as of right now it is what it is right hey jessica how you doing glad to see everyone giving love just curious, did Danielle make you anything since our previous discussion? I don't know exactly what you mean. 
<laughs> make me something since the previous discussion. I'm a little confused. I'll be real with you. <laughs> hey, Eliza. How you doing, Eliza? What's going on? How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Did we finish that? No, we're still working on Lucas. Make you food? Uh, You mean from when we last streamed? Is that what you mean? That discussion? Uh, No. Last night I had, uh, for dinner, I had like chips and salsa. And then I had some, uh, some microwavable like uh, chicken nuggets. But they weren't chicken, they were plant-based. That's what I had for dinner last night. 10 second rule? No. 10 second rules? No. No such thing. We are one point away. Once you get that bacteria on your food, it's go it's there forever. Don't get sidetracked. Astronaut Jack still working. Yes, yes, and yes. Very well, very well. Should be done here soon. It is kind of slow, right? It, it, you don't realize how slow it is in the beginning when you have the mopeds, you know? Hey, Huffy T. How you doing, Huffy T? If I could stream, I would become the world's first aircraft carrier survival speedrunner. But they would also need to fix the bugs first. I think we're good on people, though. I, I, you know, we can't really expand what we have now. Just because we're sitting at six capacity um, employees. We have a nice balance, a nice work-life balance here where people are not dying because they're you know having bacteria problems 10 second rule or they're not dying because they're ending their own lives due to boredom uh, which is a terrible thing but i think we have a nice work-life balance here and we just need to grind it out right now i guess this is a nice time to kind of just have a discussion with chad as well make you something meaning putting it in the trash and then feeding it to you exactly i handled my own food last night i made my own uh Nuggets. I made. Well, I didn't even have to make the salsa. It comes in a container. I grabbed the bag of chips myself. That is. Uh, that is what happened last night. What what plant based food do you have? I have the chicken. Well, chicken nuggets, and I have the wings, the boneless wings. You're making homemade chili tomorrow. That sounds amazing. I could get behind that. So you telling me we got Susie T, Nancy T, and Huffy T squad up? I know, right? <laughs> Susie T, Nancy T, and Huffy T. Love to see it. Lucas, almost done. Astronaut, almost done. Did we finally get our thing thing? Damn it, we did not get our thing thing yet. Very close. Very close to getting our thing thing. I am one person that has never Never mind. Never mind. We're not talking about thing things anymore. I will start to now take care of my own food as we uh, as we proceed uh, with life. Danielle can hand me the McDonald's bag, but she cannot uh, hand me a plate full of food now. No. <laughs> it is a no-go now. Not after last night. Not after yesterday, yo. Absolutely not. Not rolling with that action. Oh, frickin' frickin' deek. Did you microwave your chicken nuggets or air fry them? I microwaved them. I didn't microwave them. I should have air fried them because that would have been way better. But I have the wings, so I might like put the air fryer or put the wings in the air fryer. Hey, Colin. How you doing, Colin? I 
I don't use my air fryer as much as I should. Honestly. I should more often. Okay. I should now have... No, I don't. I don't have the freaking 10 points. My lord. What about Lucas? Lucas is done. Lucas is done. Let's go ahead and switch this over to... Uh, yes. Let's switch this over to Adrian now because it's closer. University is finally going out. It's about damn time. And air fryer is one of those things, dude. The, the, the thing about the air fryer... I'll tell you right now. The thing about the air fryer, they're, they're dope, right? They're cool. They're really cool. The only bad thing is, is that... You use the air fryer, and then you don't want to clean it. <laughs> like, damn, dude, this was good, but damn it, now I gotta clean it, you know? Like, damn. I made a mess. I made a mess now. That's why, dude, I roll with paper plates. That's why I'm drinking out of a plastic cup. Okay, let's get the freaking worker's outfit now. Gardener's outfit. It's about damn time. My lord. Okay. Let's now give them the ability to grow faster and more, right? Faster, faster. That's the idea here. Two. Go. Get it. Perfect. Go. And get it. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. All right, that should make things a little bit better. And then next we'll get the uh, hat and things like that. Use parchment paper in the air fryer? That's a good shout. I have not used that yet. I should, huh? That'd probably make it like less of a mess, yeah? These new air fryers in small oven com and combinations are easier to clean. I use it, but sometimes I put it away and forget. But line the air fryer with non-stick foil. Foil or parchment, yeah? I guess it really depends on what you're cooking too, right? Like, like what I want to do, I want to get like a, I want to get like a PB&J. You know, PB&J, butter both sides, stick it in the air fryer. Or maybe get like an Uncrustable, butter both sides, stick it in the air fryer real quick. You know, never used an air fryer. It'll change your life, almost. <laughs> There's some mozzarella sticks in there. Adrian is still going. Come on, Adrian. We're almost done with astronaut Jack. That's lovely. I'm glad to get that kind of progressed. such a fatty i just got an email from grubhub <laughs> saying hey come back we missed you <laughs> today i made a tenderloin baked in honey and mustard some fried potatoes and green salad that sounds damn good damn freaking good i tell you i tell you send me there Wherever that place is that has that food that you just described, send me there. I still need to go out to my P.O. box. I have to make that trip out today, hopefully. Susie says I got something in the P.O. box. I gotta go get it! I gotta get it! I ran out of time yesterday. By the time I was done, the, the P.O. box, like, my post office closes early. I hate it. Only because my P.O. box is way out in a town where I don't actually live. <laughs> I love cooking in the crock pot. Nah, that's a good one, yeah. That's a good one, too. I'm the luckiest. I am very sad she is about to leave me for three months to do travel contract in Charlotte. Wow, three months. That's a long time. That is an absolute long time. 
That's crazy. That's a long time. These things get pushed out even faster now with that we have these on? I don't know. Maybe. They need the hat though. This is like the slowest grind of the at the beginning, right? The beginning of the game. But once we get things kind of pushed out, especially astronaut Jack, we'll be we'll be golden pony boy. Eventually. How's our university look? Five? What do we need? Fifteen? Frick. I mean, really, we could even, like, double down. Once Astronaut Jack is done, we'll switch Astronaut Jack and double down on the university. Get that going faster. I'm very sad, but it'll be okay. She's literally going to get paid four times what she's paid now for the exact same thing. She's going to try come home on the weekends. Yo, that's crazy. Crazy. That's awesome, though. Right? It's almost like those traveling nurses, man. Those traveling nurses, man. If you're a nurse, you want to become a traveling nurse. Hey! Betty! Happy Friday. Ha Happy Friday to you, Betty! How you doing? What's going on? Hope you have a good weekend coming up here, yeah? Thank you for the super chat. That was very kind of you. Thank you very much, Betty. Hope you're doing well. What are you complaining about? What is this? Someone is in desperate need of the toilet? No, 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 no. Nobody's in desperate need of the toilet. Is that number 19 for Astronaut Jack? That's number 19 for Astronaut Jack. Adrian just got finished up, so that's money in our pockets. That's good to see. Start getting Jeremiah pushed out here. It's kind of funny, like the four uh, four beds that we have is actually running this entire establishment, and I like it. Yeah. Hey, Lisa, how you doing, Lisa? How are you and Danielle and the animals? We're doing good. We're doing good. How are you, Lisa? Have you seen any of the new episodes of Clarkson's Farm? Oh, my God. Let me tell you, Lisa. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. We went on Amazon last night, Amazon Prime video, right? And it showed Clarkson's Farm 2. Guess what Danielle and I did for like three hours last night? We watched the first three episodes of Clarkson's Farm 2, season two. Oh my God, it's funnier than the first one. It was fantastic. Oh my God, it was great. We're gonna probably watch more of that tonight. Yes. Danielle loves Jeremy Clarkson. She's a big Jeremy Clarkson fan. <laughs> uh yes we did we i it was it was a good time last night i tell you our staff nurses quit join a travel travel agency then come back and work with us as a previous job but at 20 percent more pay now that's just that's playing the system and that's just smart business <laughs> i guess on their part <laughs> one more jack one more jack and it's being shipped out to you right now, Jack. Fantastic. Whew. I just fell at the... I just... It just fell at the worst time because I just got this promotion. I have to travel and stay in Georgia like three hours away, three days a week. And we have three dogs. So paying for someone to watch the do them sucks. Wow. That is pretty bad timing. Three hours away, three days a week, and have three dogs. You're rolling with the threes. Rolling with the threes. Yeah, I think it has been seven months. I appreciate it, Danielle Smith. Thank you for the re-up there. I do appreciate that. Thank you very much for re-upping your membership. Here we go. Astronaut Jack. 20 out of 20. Hey, the first time ever we've got this. This is going to be... Wait, what? This is going to be our finest hour. Great. So does that mean I got it? Let's see. Uh, let's not touch you. Let's touch you. Engineers. Astronaut suit. Astronaut suit gives us 70% meth appliance using speed. Okay, well, that's far from what we have right now. 
That's far from what we have right now. I guess doing these would be best for now. Create a room group. What do you get for that? Yeah, we probably should do that. Uh, what is this? Configure products accepted at the appliances. Configure. Wait, we've already done that. Yeah, we've already done this, right? Maybe not. Yeah, we've done this. Place a trap, done. To only accept toasted. Oh, I see. There you go. There you go. Only toasted. There we go. Okay, grab that. Thank you. Thank you for the uh, jug. Push that back now. And then create a room as well. Create a room. I wish the rewards were done differently and a little bit better. Let's see here. Let's go, I guess, employees. Let's go rooms. Just honestly pick anything. Go like this. Go like that. Room name. F. Confirm. It will then turn into that. Confirm. Bam. That should be done. Assign an employee to F. There we go. Oh, astronaut Jack's back. Okay, did we do it? We did it, okay, so let's get that now. Okay, now let's put him to all rooms. Thank you. Okay, let's see here. Nice, thank you. Um, toasted cannabis, uh, and uh, really don't need that either. Okay, so what did astronaut Jack want? I didn't get to see, because he like, effed off politely. What, what, what did astronaut Jack say? I didn't even see him. Well, regardless, put him over here. Uh-oh. Hopefully that line goes away. Okay, yeah, it's coming back. Okay, good. Ooh. Nice. Woo. Hey, Jocelyn. How you doing, Jocelyn? Jeremy Clarkson is hilarious without really knowing it. Honestly, all he has to do is exist and talk and walk, and he's funny. That's it. That's all he has to do. So astronaut suit is only good for the meth appliances, which, you know, that's very long down the road as it is. Lizzie, hey Lizzie, Lizzie. Gotta leave, my vertigo is getting worse today. Wish you all the best. Take care and have a great weekend. You take care as well, Lizzie, and thank you for the for the very massive, not only for the super chat, but for the massive hit of 10 gifted memberships. That was very kind of you, and I hope you do feel better. I have vertigo too, and I think that's why I was feeling droggy yesterday, because the day before, I was spinning, uh, and I didn't, like, stream the day I got, the you know, when I got back right away, because my head was spinning. I was so dizzy. I was so tired, and... Um, I, I, it, it sucks. I do come with it every once in a while, but I do hope you start to feel better because it's a terrible feeling and it makes you feel like you can't do anything at all. Hey, Mary. How you doing, Mary? What's going on? I'm a bit late, but I'm here. Hope you're well. Hope you're well, too, Mary. Yeah. Astronaut Jack said, love you to the moon and back. Is that what he said? Thank you, Astronaut Jack. Good for him. Good for him. All right, let's take a look at our university now. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Okay. Uh, hat or improved cutting bench? Honestly, I think I'm going to go with the hat. Yeah, I'm going to go with the hat. Now, hang on a sec. With our people, let's kind of take care of them real quick. Um, yeah, let's go here and let's go you. Let's go you. Let's go headphones. Headphones for now. Let's give you headphones. Give you headphones. Invest in our people. Give you drinks and you already have a drink. Okay, good. Nice. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's right. That is right, right, and actually right. Hey!
another 20 gifted members. Huh? Another 20 gifted membership? My good God almighty. Danielle Smith with the 20 gifted memberships as well, along with Molly Joe and with Lizzie giving off 10. Molly Joe giving off 20. Danielle Smith now giving off 20. That's 50 members that we have established today. Not even not even counting the individual purchases of memberships also by Savvy Tech. This is incredible. That means uh Redmond Tay Tay Tax Tack Tack <laughs> Michael WTF Grandma. Oh my lord. Brandon David, Matthew, uh, Kelso, Haley Smith, Cordu, 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 <laughs> Muggle, Gert, Alexandras, Val, uh, Du, Kitor, PJ, Pat Johnson. Oh, look at Pat bringing in there. Hannah Summer, Pretty Penny, Salty Sim, Phoenix, 9791. All picking up memberships there as well. Incredible. Incredible. That is incredible. Very kind of everybody. Very kind of everybody. Very kind of for the generosity. That was really, really, really very kind of you, indeed. Big shout to you, Danielle Smith, for that. Very kind, indeed. Yeah, thank you for the donations. Thank you for the gifted memberships. Thank you for all the above. I appreciate it, everybody. Thank you very much for supporting not only me, and I always say this all the time, right? Not only supporting me, but also supporting Danielle and, and, and the fur babies, too. Let's do this. Pick that up. Pick that up. Gardner's hat. All right, let's do it, shall we? Let's do that again. Let's go here. We'll go there. We'll go here. And we'll go there. And we'll put them with that. Sick. And another five gifted membership by Danielle Smith as well. Oh my lord, look at this. This brings in Jennifer Wynn, Beth, Breathe Deep, <clears throat> Michael Grantley, and Pull Bites. Five more additional members added to a membership for the next month. That's incredible. That's 25 gifted memberships handed out there as well. My lord, look at that. But wait, there's more. <laughs> like a friggin' commercial ready for an advertisement. But wait, there's more. That was very kind of you. 25 gifted memberships. That means that's what? I can't count. Um, 40, 50, 55 new members or 55 people became members today or re-upped or became members once again, so to speak. Holy moly, this is crazy. Look at that. Look at that. Big ups to y'all. Thank you very much for the generosity. Appreciate that. Appreciate that a lot. <laughs> and I will be actually, I, I haven't really announced it because I, I, I was kind of keeping it a secret, but I will be releasing a members video later today as well. So there will be a members video coming out later today. Uh, this evening, sorry. After today's stream somewhat. Um, but later this evening for me at least. There will be a members uh, video coming out. And it's a it's a different kind of... Well, not a different kind of members video. But it is a members video that is... Uh, let's just say... I, I'm not going to ruin it. I'm not going to ruin it. How about that? How about that? How about I just don't ruin it and I just leave it as it is? That's what I'll do. I'll just leave it as it is. Not going to ruin it. But there will be a members video coming out today. And plus, also, if you have became a new member, go over to the membership tab. We are doing a giveaway currently right now. If you did get a gifted membership, you can go ahead and enter in for a drawing to win a game that we're giving away right now. Uh, so just go over to the membership tab, follow the instructions, and you can be entered to be put in. Because that's where I do most of my giveaways. When you are a member of the channel, I do giveaways mostly there. So yeah. Ha! 
Have a good one, Darren. Do take care and lay down the disciplinary action. And make sure to lay down the disciplinary action on behalf of me. I want that to be known. I want those people to be known that I, I am also a part of that disciplinary action. Does that count? Probably not. Okay. 14 points. The next thing I'm going to get is these boots. Actually, yeah. I'm going to get the boots and then we'll start working towards toasted. But I think this is a good system we have here. We're staying above. Uh, we have our money playing safe. We are uh, progressing slowly but surely. Our people are getting better and better with the hats now. Or with the hats and the outfits and all the above. Honestly, I could probably do with a little bit of more of this maybe another maybe maybe not put it there there you go put it there do that yeah that's fine after dark members video no no it's actually gonna it's gonna be a it's not gonna be like a, a crazy video or anything like that but it's gonna be an informative video more than anything Yeah, an informative video. Hey, Samantha, how you doing, Samantha? What's going on? Uh, I feel like we had we had it here. We have it here. We have a nice system. I don't know. I I, I can't really argue against this. Actually, you know where we sit here? Well, maybe. This actually could be, this is borderline, this is borderline ready for laundromat status here in a bit, I think. I honestly do think that. With the consistency that we got going on here with now our workers being able to, to fulfill at high rates, this is a point in time where we could actually look into We could look into getting the laundromat up and running. Because we are hitting out consistent outputs here. Now, if I were to do that, if I were to do the laundromat, I would take one of the university mopeds away and start filling that in. Now, one thing I do wish about this game is that when you do purchase land, I wish you knew exactly where you were purchasing something. Now, this is where we had our first place before, but I want it to be kind of closer to our warehouse is this next to the warehouse where's our warehouse at okay there's our warehouse okay that's our warehouse that's where the laundromat could go what about this man what, what is this one right here is this beach view what is this this is beach view donut shop only okay is that the closest one that we can have for the laundromat yeah is this one okay this one okay i think that is the closest one for a laundromat right here so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do it i'm gonna purchase this land i'm gonna own it now i'm not gonna purchase the license quite yet i'm gonna wait till you know we earn a little bit more money a little bit more breathing room here yeah and then i'll purchase the license for the laundromat and we can probably start pivoting over to the laundromat here eventually. Hey, Chef Selva. How you doing, Chef Selva? What's going on? You're doing much better this time around? Yeah, it's basically it. Like, you're, you're definitely doing... We're definitely doing a good time this time around, for sure. It's good to start over sometimes. This way you have the knowledge before you so you can plan better. Yeah, it's nice to start over, but in this... In this um, in this situation, I had no choice. I had to start over just because the new update. Um, well, the game just broke basically, and I couldn't go back to my old save, which was kind of sad because like all that work we put into our old save, I kind of want to like look around and that, but <clears throat> I'll never be able to do that. I will say though, uh, this game now does have. Autosave, 
I haven't really noticed if it has auto-saved. Right? Um, I don't know if a little thing has popped up. We have been streaming for more than 30 minutes, so... I'm gonna save just in case, because I don't- I haven't noticed it, like, auto-saved yet. I've been at home with a cold for the last several days. We had a cold snap for the first five days. Not the best weather if you got a cold, but apparently this cold has been making the rounds. I see. Hopefully you're getting at the back end of that cold, yeah? Let's see here. That done? Nope. Victoria? Victoria. Hey! Any way to get my subs back after these issue hit 4,000 and bam overnight or lost even no channel back? Get any way to get my subs back after the YouTube issue had 4,000 bam overnight all lost even though the channel is back so you have a channel and you had 4,000 subs and then overnight they were lost or did you get your channel taken away wait wait what do you what do you mean by overnight lost all but you have your channel back What do you mean by that when it comes to subscribers uh subscribers are done through individual accounts i don't think there's a i don't think there is a way to ever get like subscribers back if you ever lost them there is something where youtube does um every like one or two years at or one every like once or twice a year where they will unsubscribe people from your channel if they have inactive accounts. So if there's a Google account that's very inactive, sometimes you'll see a big dip in your loss of subscribers because YouTube will like remove them from your subscription list because they have inactive accounts. I don't know. Or bot accounts sometimes will kind of like also be uh, retracted in some degree. That's the only thing I know about when, when it comes to subscribers actually being lost from accounts. Have a good one, Hoppy. Do take care. Do take care, Hoppy. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good rest of your rest of your evening, yeah? Your channel was banned. Then got it back. But my subs are gone. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, channel banned, usually... I don't know about banning channels. I know about terminating channels. Channels can be terminated. Um... And if channels are terminated, they're gone. And you can't get any of those back. You can't get the subscribers back. You can't get anything back if it's terminated. But YouTube doesn't do like a... They don't do Twitch bans. Like where you, you can't use your account for seven days. Or anything like that. They just do uh, terminations. Deandra, how's it going, Deandra? How are you? What's going on? Hope you're doing well. Yay, we got the boots. Get the boots. Get the boots. Hooray. <laughs> we got boots, baby. These boots are made for walking. And that's just what they'll do. One of these days, these boots are gonna walk all over you. Give me the laundromat. Okay, we spent $3,000. Now, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start transferring over one bike over to... Oak Lane here in a sec. Hang on. Oak Lane needs to be uh, laundromat. There we go. And then, oh crap! We can't send it over. We just don't have a freaking storage room. Duh. They're gonna park right here. Uh, right, 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 right. Okay, we'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait. We're not ready yet. We're not ready yet. We're not ready yet. Uh, in that case, bring back that. Uh, moped.
And what we will do with that third moped... Actually, you know what we're going to do instead? We're going to take these mopeds all off of universities. We're going to go two mopeds on two... This is what we're going to do. You go to Adam. You go to Jack. You go to Jack. So we're going to have four mopeds going out there and delivering uh, products now. See if we can get our money game up faster so that we can start building out this laundromat. Hey, Matt Key. How you doing, Matt Key? What's going on? How you doing? Looks like a cleaner factory for them oregano. That's right. DeAndre says, I'm at work taking a late lunch. What's for lunch? What's for lunch? Anything good? Anything worthwhile? I'm hungry right now. My stomach's crack. Freaking grumbling as it is. It was a mistake they admitted it. Uh, well, if it's a mistake, then they won't ever give it, it back. There's been very much times where YouTube has made mistakes in the past, but they can't and they won't. Uh, go back and um, they won't uh, help you either way. There's been creators that actually legitimately YouTube owed owed them money. YouTube was supposed to pay the creators because uh, we all get paid by monthly uh, on a monthly basis. And there was a time where a creator was not being paid like two or three months. They're actually a pretty big creator. I'm not going to name who they are because I don't want to like spread that, but... Um, they didn't get paid for three months and YouTube admittedly say, oh yeah, it was a glitch in our system. Why your monetization was not being tracked. And they admitted to their problems, but they said, unfortunately, we can't go back and back pay you. Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. This is not excellent. This is good. You want 20 in 10 minutes? What are you talking about, astronaut Jack? How the hell am I supposed to do that? I can't give you 20 in 10 minutes. I feel like that's impossible. For science, I guess I'll give it a shot. No, I can't do that. There's no way. If I put all my mopeds on Astronaut Jack here, there's no freaking way. I'll lose money. I'll lose money trying to attempt this. So honestly, Astronaut Jack, find yourself something else. We brought in the stuff in the Super Bowl. Oh, we brought in stuff for the Super Bowl. Sliders, chips, donuts, drinks. Oh, that's that's wonderful. Super Bowl kind of food finger type type snacks. I like that. Hell yeah. I'm for that. Anybody going to watch the Super Bowl this weekend? Sunday? I'm excited for Super Bowl. Not because I'm a football fan, but more or less I'm ready for football to end so that baseball can begin. I'm a big baseball fan. So once Super Bowl ends, bam, step aside, here comes the baseball season. I think he's still high. I do agree too. <laughs> I think he's high if he wants that all in 10 minutes. Hey, Buzzkill. How you doing, Buzzkill? Greetings to you. How are you? See where we're taking our knowledge from and not jumping blind. How are you? Uber did the same thing to me. They owed over $400 and admitted to it, but never gave me the money. There's probably some sort of, like, contract clause that says somewhere in the deep, like, hundreds of pages of things that you sign that you don't read in agreements that says something whether they're not liable for certain things. This one creator that I was talking about that I was mentioning, though, like, YouTube owed them, I think, like, $14,000. They're Like I said, they're a big creator, so... But even something like that is like, that's a big deal. That's that's a lot of money, you know? A lot, a lot of money. <clears throat> that's a good point. That's a good point too. Make a post on social media. If you have subscribers, you know, they're always aware. That's kind of why we have like, also like the Discord going on. We have uh, Twitch, or not Twitch, sorry, Twitter. You know, if there's anything, you got to also have, like, multiple outlets so that people can follow you. So just in case, Discord is the best spot, at least for me personally. Like, if there's something going on, Discord is the best way to get a hold of me, or that's the best way to, um, to know what's going on behind the scenes, so to speak. 
if for, for whatever reason something were to happen on YouTube or whatever. Hey, Nebraska. How's it going? Thanks for the stream. I have to go and take my mom to her physical therapy appointment. I've been missing live, so it was nice to catch this one from the start. Thank you for the fun. No problem, Nebraska. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Hope you have a good rest of your day, and thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah. Going to be on in the house. The Eagles are in it. Eagles and the Chiefs, right? Eagles and the Chiefs. Was it over 20k? Like over twenty thousand dollars? That one great you might you might know who I'm talking about, right? Tree of Ember, you know who I'm talking about, right? It was like over twenty thousand dollars that YouTube owed. And they were like, yeah, sorry. We're not gonna give it to you. <laughs> I am a big Dodger fan, yes. Big Dodger fan indeed. Indeed. Baseball is cool, but they have too many games in a season. I know they last from March. Well, if you don't count spring training, I guess. If you count spring training, you're talking February all the way to November. I love that how many games there are. <laughs> yeah, Dodgers are my baseball team. I'm a big Dodgers fan. I'm a big Dodgers fan because that's just where, that's how we grew up. Grew up a Dodgers fan. Family grew up in LA. Families from LA and we just grew up Dodger fans You watch this video on it. Yeah, then you know exactly what I'm talking about Had to restart couldn't uh, get the save back no yeah i had to restart um in the hotfix number two it did say in the hotfix that if we had the problem of 75 percent uh the de developers did say that you had to restart a new save unfortunately but i mean we're here we're grinding it out early on and um i guess for anything we're not making big mistakes like we did last time so socks red socks or white socks which socks Oh, you're LA babe as well? Oh, very good. Very good. That's awesome. Yeah, I want to make it to a couple baseball games this year. Danielle and I really like going to uh, baseball games and things like that. We have a good time. We do. White Sox. White Sox. White Sox, baby. Chicago White Sox. Hey, JoJo. How are you doing? Hello. How's the restart going? It's going good. Uh, it's going good, you know. From the last time we played, definitely had to, uh, you know, we learned our mistakes. But, um, I mean, honestly, we're, I think we're playing a lot smarter now than we did. Well, I mean, we are because we have a lot more knowledge, but it's going good. Yeah, it's going good for sure. Absolutely. But uh, we're just kind of slowly going through these monies. We're, we have a land. We just purchased land and we just purchased a business license so we're about to open up a laundromat here soon once we get a little bit more money that i'm comfortable with was born in cali and lived there 10 years and now you live in like utah right if i remember correctly i think right yeah this is the forehead round absolutely you're pulling out the big big uh the big numbers here I do want to get kind of like the new stuff from the university here soon. I think I want to get the laundromat up and running first before I get the, um, before I get more university points. Have you going there? Have you going there? And we should get another thousand here. We'll slowly start to build this up. $3,800. Nice. Let's go over to our laundromat now. Look at this. Ridiculous. <sighs> I kind of want to make these pretty too. Let's see. Let's go grass. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me.
Okay, let's not go grass. Sand? <laughs> Gravel? Carmac? Okay, then let's go storage room. Okay, right. I don't know why we can't put down the, the grass or anything like that. That's a little interesting. The storage room. We'll make this a little bit bigger than last time. This is where the car is going to come out. We'll go laundromat. Um, storage room. How do I want to do this? One, two, three, four. I kind of want to do five. Work in odd numbers. Five. There we go. Work in odd numbers. Go to grow room. Or sorry, la <laughs> laundromat. Push it open. Doesn't need to be too big. Right? We learned that. We learned that for sure. Doesn't need to be too big. Decent? I mean, is that too big? No, it's not. Okay. Register. We want to go door. There. Door there. And let's see. I got to keep my eye on all of our stuff here. All of our money. $1,600 already seems a little bit low. Let's go laundromat shelving. We'll go there. We'll go there. Is this going to be enough room? I feel like it will. Crap, I put that in wrong. Rotate that. You know what? Might as well just go to the wall. To the window, to the wall, to the sweat. Never mind. Never mind. Disregard that. Okay, you know what? This is what we'll do. I like that. How much money we got, yeah? Okay. I like it. I kind of like it. Yeah, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I do, I do, I do. Ooh. All right. This will be the front for our laundromat. Maybe one door? No, let's go double door. Double door. And that is where we will stand for now. We'll leave $900 in our pockets and try to build up this money more. And we will deliver to Landon and, uh, whoops, and Jaden. Landon and Jaden will be next on the list. We'll get that money rolled into. Your husband's team is the Indians. Cleveland, well, I guess the Cleveland Guardians now, right? The Cleveland Guardians, they were in the playoffs last year. You were born in Ventura, lived in LA during the riots. Holy crap. <laughs> Can't imagine that. <laughs> you mostly play games and uh, knitting. That's your sport. You know, that's not a bad sport. Playing games. Love the sport. It's actually. Whoa, hey. Well, here's to the restart lol. Well, I appreciate that, Six Deadly Kids. I appreciate that. Well, here's to the restart. Thank you. Thank you for the generosity. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate that. Appreciate that a lot. Hope you're doing well, yeah? But yeah, knitting, playing games, that's my sports. I respect it. Knitting, knitting. There's a lot of people in the Discord that uh, do a lot of knitting as well. They show off their projects sometimes. It's really cool. I love when people do like the temperature blankets things. I'm really, I, I really like those. I think those are really cool. There we go. It's funny that this entire operation is all built on just four beds, right? Is this something that needs to be adjusted? Is this something that needs to be balanced out? Maybe, you know, who knows, right? Honestly, I could probably even get away with, like, saving money here a little bit, too. Maybe not. Maybe, like, a couple of dollars, yeah? A couple of dollars. I grew up outside of Philadelphia, so I grew up on Philly sports. I mean, the Phillies themselves, if you watch baseball, the Phillies themselves were in the World Series last year. And then, then obviously, the, you know, 
Eagles are in the Super Bowl. Philly has a lot of rich history. Definitely does. A lot of rich history. Let's see. You go in there. You go there. And you go there. Okay. Yep. We just need to get a little bit more money so that I can feel more comfortable about spending that money at the laundromat. And then what I'll do is I'll take one. Once we once we get it kind of like fleshed out over there, fleshed out, fleshed out, something out. Once we get that all going, I think that was an auto save. I don't even know. It's an auto save. I do have it on 30 minutes. You could choose to have auto save on or not, but I do have it on 30 minutes. I'm gonna take another save real quick. But um, I think once we get that laundromat up and going i'm probably gonna switch one of the mopeds to laundromat and then one of the mopeds to university maybe so we can get toasted up and running too you thought covid lockdown was bad not obeying riot curfews was deadly yeah i can't imagine what time is it where you guys are at uh, for me, it's almost 1.30. Astronaut Jack, F off, man. You're not getting this. Not right now. Yeah, almost 1.30. 4.20. That, you just wanted to put 4.20. <laughs> you didn't want to put 4.22. You didn't want to put 4.23. You wanted to put 4.20. <laughs> I'm from VA, so no local sports teams, but we have a lot of our players on a lot of home teams. What's going on? What's going on, Hoodrich? How you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you again. 10.23 p.m. in Germany. 10.30 in Germany. Oh, there's a couple people from Germany, I see, yeah? South Africa. We have a few people from South Africa. I believe Monique is from South Africa as well. I went to every parade and I will go to this one if they take it. Oh, you have to, right? Absolutely, you have to. Yay for more South Africans. Almost done with that one. Very close to that one. I didn't realize how much Definitely Not Fried Chicken was like a big time interactive stream too. Just one of those games, man. One of those games you sit back and enjoy it and enjoy it with the uh, chat as well. Uh, we'll pick that up too. Yep. Okay, you and your final countdown, my good man, need to actually get launched somewhere else. I can't do 10 minutes. I don't have the cars. I feel like I need the vehicles to be able to do that. I need the need the cars to pull off this stunt. 10 minutes is ridiculous. With mopeds this early on? Yeah, get out of here. I need money, though. I should be getting a paycheck here in a sec. Sixteen minutes might be doable, but I'm not gonna do it. Sixteen minutes could be doable. There we go. Thirteen hundred dollars. That's nice. If we can get paid one more real quick, we're nowhere close to being paid. Okay, that's bad. This one's at least clo closer. Adrian here. So let's get Adrian going. That should be faster. <laughs> I like real football better than the. Yeah, American football. <laughs> I 
<laughs> you mean soccer? You're talking about soccer? You like soccer? You like the real football? <laughs> I never really get, uh, got into soccer myself. I did once upon a time try out for soccer in high school. This was years and years and years ago. Probably back in 2010. 2010, 2011. I did try out for soccer in high school. And, uh, well, it did not go well. It did not go well at all. I did not make the team. I did not make the soccer team. Yeah. But only because I've never played soccer in my life. There's a lot of running in soccer. I did play sports in high school, but soccer I was not cut out for. Go figure. Go figure. I was like, damn, you got to run this much in so soccer. <laughs> <laughs> they tell us to go do bleachers go do bleachers oh sh shoot bleachers what the heck it was funny me and my friend uh me and my friend, we never played soccer in our life, and we thought, oh, you know what? Let's go just go try out for the soccer team like a bunch of jackasses we were. We made a fool of ourselves, dude. Those actual legit soccer players made us look like fools. Absolute fools. They were so conditioned to running for long periods of times. I was not. Condition. I was only conditioned to sprint, not to run long, like stamina to have long, long, long runs. I was not ready. I was not built for that. Okay, two thousand dollars. Let's see here. I still don't even have a toilet. Damn it. Let's get a customer toilet in, I guess. I do appreciate y'all hanging out with me today. I do. I know today is like a very big day for some people. Um, a very big game released today. So I do appreciate y'all hanging out with me. I do, I do, I do. Thank y'all. Um, that should be fine. Perfect. And staff, like, honestly, staff can come last. Let's be real here. We'll go washing machine sh set. Dryer set. Washing. Dryer. Bench. I think it's cute. I think it's cute to have, like, a little tiny laundromat here, yeah? Cool. Here we go. It's, uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. We don't have enough money yet. We don't have enough money. Run it back. 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 2010, I had my fourth child by then. <laughs> yeah, 2010. 2010 when I was in high school. We're going to have tryouts again, and I'll make sure you're team captain. Oh, frick. Dude. I'll be team captain, but... You do what I say. <laughs> What's so big about today? Just just a, a big game release today is all. One of the biggest games. Yeah, the release of Hogwarts came out today. The official launch. So a lot of people are probably, you know, playing games right now. And, and uh, that could come with like, you know, people are playing games more than watching streams at this point. And I do appreciate y'all hanging out with me. You graduated high school in 98. So you were in high school. You were in high school during the West Coast, East Coast beef, yo? That must have been something. That must have been like a time to live in. I mean, I was alive during that time, but I wasn't in high school during that time. 
That must have been crazy. Unless maybe West Coast, East Coast beef was like, depending on where you lived, though. Yeah, 1995 there. Well, so you were you graduated in 95. You graduated the same year I was born. It was a crazy time. I'm glad the South won. Wait, what? Wait, wait. <laughs> West Coast, East Coast, baby. Uh, crazy, crazy. You graduated high school in 2016. <laughs> Love it. Okay, we need to send you out to Cameron Gonzalez. Go to Cameron, please. Done with high school in 1994. Graduated high school in 2014. I got the game, but I'd rather be here on the live stream. Oh, that's sweet of you, Susie. They should just call you Susie, uh, Sweet Susie. Sweet Susie T, yeah? 2002 high school. A year after uh, tragic events. Did they change? So after like, I hate to talk about it, but like after 9-11, did they change like high schools? Did they change how like some would approach like going to high schools for like temporarily or something like that? I know at least high schools in like the cities that we like we're we're near like you have to go through like metal detectors to go into high school and stuff like that like to go to school you have to be screened and stuff before you can go to class but that was for different reasons of course oh they had different kind of drills for that Should I spend 1600? I don't think a, I think a bathroom and a break will be way too much money. Way too much money. In different drills for different things. See, with the, by the time I was there, we, we had different kinds of uh, drills. I think they have different drills now, but I guess it all depends era wise. Send these people off to Jackson Morales. I, w I may as well add it. I graduated in 1986. I know you weren't born yet. <laughs> I was not born yet. I think my mom in 1986 was... My mom would have had to been like 10 or 11 years old in 1986. Nineteen eighty-six. <laughs> that was two years before the Dodgers won the World Series. I think they won in 1981, 1988. Uh, we will not do that one. I bet I'm the oldest one here. I left school in 1972. 1972 if you left school in 1972 then my dad would have been like just born nineteen seventy two you know what's great about it though people naming the graduation days maybe when they left school uh you know things like that it just kind of shows like the diverse right the diversity that's going on and people that watch these streams people that uh play these games you know i do love that that's my favorite part about it all 
Love the movies and the books, not the games. <laughs> gaming with X, what's going on? How you doing gaming with X? That's when police departments started putting in small offices and school uh, offices in schools with four to five officers. Yeah, facts. Very facts. Very true. Very true. Our school's police officers were were nice. They were cool. Some people took advantage of them, but like you don't want to cross them, because once you cross them, they show no mercy. Not in high school, you know. Is this game fun? Yeah, I'm having a ball. Graduated high school in 2012, college in 2016, and grad school 2020. My sister likes to say I spent my life going to school. No, dude, there's like people, and I have family members that are kind of like it. There's people that literally go to school as a career. You know, they'll go and get their masters. They'll go and get their all this and then they'll go do a whole nother field i have a i have i have a family member that does that exact thing they just go to school as a career <laughs> you graduated in 1973 You're an old soul, you can relate to all ages. I try my best to relate to most people. I try. I'm 38 and just got my masters. I tip my cap to anybody that goes and, and gets a degree, uh, goes and gets a masters. I tip my cap to you, 100%. Now, you say, wait a sec, Molly says you graduated school in 2020. Now, when of 2020 did you graduate? Was it at the beginning of 2020 or was it at the end of 2020? How does that all work? And how did that all work with like COVID just starting up? You know what I mean? Did you have to like get canceled with like ceremonies or anything like that? You hear the puppies? I know, they're freaking out. They got a, the mailman decide to show up at 1.30. <laughs> I don't feel like I'm on my knees though. That's another story. <laughs> okay, this should give us enough money to start our laundromat, hopefully. The day I graduated with my master's, my dad said, well, when you are going back for your PhD, I want my daughter to be a doctor. I said, well, you better ask your other daughter then. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. I don't have a mechanic. Don't worry about this. This will all be sorted out. I mean, hey, thanks, dad. I got my master's, right? Let alone me getting going and getting a PhD. Go ask your other daughter, though. How many sisters do you have? Staff toilet. This will go right here. What we'll do is we'll do... You know, it's kind of weird that you can't do corridors, I guess, here in these, like, little, uh, whichamajiggers, I guess you could say. The, uh, commercial places. Yeah, that's, that's the word I was looking for. Staff. Go to the door. How much money? Nine hundred and sixty dollars. Frick. All right. Still don't have quite enough as much as I was hoping. I didn't realize that was going to cost that much money, but it is what it is. All right. Still going at it. Still playing it. Still playing the game here. Your check knees light on comes on at comes on at about 35. <laughs> it actually sucked. I never had a commencement ceremony and digitally watched my name go across the screen with Kayla in my living room. Aw, oh, really? 
never had any celebration with family or anything oh that does suck especially after the hard work you put in to get to that point too you know that does suck My husband had his masters, it was costly. First world problems, but still it was super disappointing to not celebrate with the fam. Right. Well, I mean, you know, like I said, even with all that work that was uh, done into it as well. Just one sister that's four years older. Okay, all right. That's your only other sibling, yeah? Check need light on. Love that, don't you? <laughs> My mind is young. My body, not so much. My fault for being such an active child. This should give us a little bit more money. And we'll go directly to where we need to go. We should probably send these bikes out. Let's go you to there to there and you to there and you to there 1800 let's go see let's go back see what we can do here i don't think they need a lot a lot they don't need a lot here they really don't because they're only here like during the business hours for the most part they're not here all day every day so maybe like that 380 dollars for that freaking arcade cabinet i don't think so Maybe like a vending machine. Uh, a coffee machine. A TV. I think that's all they really need in a staff break room. Staff toilet. Sink. This. Okay, that's that. Okay, now we're really pushing it. I'm pushing it to the limit here. Especially when I'm not going to be getting any money in here for a while. So I'm going to go into the negatives. So don't worry about that. But we'll get out of that. Yeah, we'll get out of that. When I got my undergraduate graduate d degree, I was so sick of school. I told them to mail it to me. <laughs> I get told that I don't act my age. What am I supposed to do? Wear a shaw, shaw hunch over holding my granny grabber. <laughs> granny grabber sounds pretty sweet right now. I just had this conversation with my mom said I, I'm 29, but still feel like 21. She said I at 62, she still feels 21 and that feeling never really go. That feeling really no, never goes away. That's kind of, you know, that's kind of inspiring though like low-key like a little inspiring like even though you're this age you never lose that you know that i guess you could say that that younger inner spirit so to speak because we're so conditioned at least we were growing up maybe not so nowadays but at least as far as like maybe older generations go always conditioned that you were supposed to uh let go of your kid antics you know uh quit being such a child you know i use air quotes of course of course right you need to be an adult now you're 30 years old you're 40 years old you're 50 years old act your age you son of a gun you know almost like a stigma stereotype like i don't know it's glad it's good to hear that some people you know are I think that's what impresses me the most is like the di diverse of the chat, right? And we all come here for enjoying like one thing in common and that's playing video games, you know, that's playing games We all enjoy that. So You don't need to be X years old to enjoy anything really in life for the most part I have three associate degrees and now I hate and do not want to do more school. And even that, that's a good point. You say, uh, you do so much school to the point where it's like, I don't want to keep doing it. You have three degrees, right? Three degrees. 
I think one thing I would be afraid of if I were to ever get a degree, I, I think one thing that I was afraid of mostly is that I was afraid to go to school and kind of be tied down, so to speak, so to speak, to a to a to a line of profession that one I had to make a decision as I was a younger, you know, younger person that I had to somehow figure out that I wanted to do something for the rest of my life, so to speak, right? And then like you, you do something, right? You go to school and you're like, oh, I think this is a great, great thing. I think this is a good thing. I think this will be good for me. And then you realize that one thing wasn't really, it wasn't really your cup of tea in the long run, you know, so to speak. That's something I've always been afraid of. I haven't shit since no shave November till now. I look like a child again. <laughs> hey, Cash. How you doing, Cash? We're here for your funny personality regardless of the game. Well, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I feel like that. I act, I really actually enjoy school, but after working full time at Volkswagen and going to grad school, it really made me despise school because I was so exhausted. And sometimes I kind of wish, also like with schools and whatever you're going for, you know, I wish they were, wish they could just condense it a little bit more, you know, condense it in the in the sense of like, what you're going for. Can we just focus on that? Do I have to take, you know, if I'm going to become a, if I'm going to become like, I don't know, a freaking doctor, do I really need to take pop culture 101 or fill uh, videography 101, you know, some like electives where they just are just like time wasters. Do you really need to focus on like that kind of stuff? Does that make sense? Hopefully that does. How close are we? Four and seven. Okay, so we're very close. I was told that I have a cartoon mind. I took it as a compliment and said thank you. Yeah, I my mind is imaginative. My mind is colorful and it has all different kinds of shapes and characters going in and out of it. That's a compliment. Call me Wiley the Coyote. It's a very valid, mature fear to have. I was just conditioned to go to college, so I never even considered not going. But it's ridiculous that 18 year olds are supposed to have it all figured out. I agree. I don't come from a family, though. I don't come from a background of uh, people that have gone to college. So I, I guess in, in my. In my I guess uh, in my life so to speak I never had that unwanted pressure because I mean it could be good and it could be bad right the pressure is good because it you know to some degree I don't know it's, it's just it's a, it's a damn well hard thing to, to talk about right but I never had that pressure because I never really had that opportunity you know I never had uh, family members I never had parents that went to college um, I never had parents that say, hey, I got money for you to go to college. It's not like I ever had that option to, like, kind of go to college, you know? And you could say financial aid, financial aid. <laughs> financial aid. You got to read the fine print. <laughs> read the fine print. It can only take you so far before... You know? This is the cans therapy. <laughs> this is the cans hour with cans. It's just cool. It's cool to, to, to sit and think and like talk about things because I mean, we all come from all different kinds of walks of life. You know? That's why I sit here with a I guess now I sit here with this next to me at all times. 
Just in case, you never know. <laughs> Always prepared, baby. Always prepared. Like, I have friends in my personal life that, you know, they they went to college. Their parents had a lot of money saved up for them. They went to college. They, you know, paid for their college. They went to freaking Ireland to go to college. Like, that's cool, but... I never got like that kind of thing, you know? As cool as hell, like, I'm glad for you. And I'm happy that you became a teacher. And I know you hate your job now, but that's cool that you got to do that in college. <laughs> that's actually a true story, though. I think that was the autosave stud right there. That's a true story. My friend, she went to college. She became a teacher. She spent college in Ireland. And she came back. Now she's a teacher. She gets paid jack-ish to be to be a teacher, you know, so uh <laughs> She just absolutely loves it now, right? She loves it so freaking much. I paid for my schooling 100% myself, applied for literally 70 plus scholarships, and paid the remainder with student loans. That's pretty good. That's really good, yeah? Really good. Who says you can't stop learning after school? Never. Never. You never, nobody should ever think that either. Like, people should never think that they can't go to school, any, any school, whether it's college night school vocational school at any age um there's like there, there there's always that like kind of thing where like you feel like oh if i'm not between the ages of 18 and 22 i can't go to college no that's 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 wrong it's very very wrong right very very wrong you can go to college whenever you want you can go to you can get schooling whenever you want you can get education whenever you want you know Honestly, nothing I learned in school helped me in life at all. I did all my learning from life experiences. I always had trouble. I um, mean, you guys could probably see it in like the, the videos and stuff like that. But I always had trouble with like reading comprehension. That was always my weak thing. Like if someone taught me hands on how to do something, I'd do it. Like, okay, I see how you did that. I could do that too. But, like, when it came to, like, reading comprehension, that's where I really struggled. I still work on that today. Even reading, I still work on today. But, you know. I'm not the smartest cookie of all time. I know that. <laughs> like, I was really good at math in school. But when the reading comprehension math questions came up, oh, dude. That's what I burned. I burned. I burned. Like, I could do math problems, formulas, no problem. You pull up, like, Jimmy went to the store, bought three oranges. He came home with one orange. How many oranges did he lose? Like, when it came to questions like that, F Jimmy politely. Okay? I wasn't about that. I know the answer to that, chat. I do know the answer to that. <laughs> it's almost kind of like doing like streaming YouTube and all that. Twitch, even. Nobody takes a course. I mean, nowadays you can take a course from these highly, highly uh, professional streamers that will charge you $100 for an hour of coursing, right? Honestly, go look up YouTube videos and you can learn how to become a content creator and a streamer all for free. That's what I did. I learned how to become a streamer. I learned how to learn how to do the algorithm. I learned how to do the metrics, the statistics, the analytics, all just through learning, watching videos and, and, and experimenting myself hands on. Right. That's how I learned this. There's no schooling for this kind of thing. Unless you get, you know, ripped off by a streamer charging you $150 to 
not looking at you, ninja. But maybe I am. To go through a crash course. Okay, this is looking good. We can finally hire staff now. Yeah. I don't think there's anything else we really, really, really need to add here. So, to get the stars, that's one thing we want to do. To get the stars, pop license purchased. We were in the process of that. Cleaning all business hours, we can do that. All products available. Marketing business on billboards. Okay, 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 okay. So, give me one cleaner for the entire business hour. 600 and 1900. So, come in at 600. And work till 1900? That might be too much. I might need to get two cleaners. Yeah. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Six. Wait, how many out? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We'll go 8. Actually, you know what? 8. We'll have them come in at 5 a.m. There we go. Okay. Everything else? There we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Eight. There we go. And then we'll do another schedule. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Eight hours straight. No breaks. We'll see how that goes. Should be fine. That should give us a star. As far as cashiers, I don't know. About to see. You do good with three and the couple of story driven games you've streamed recently you killed it i can't read dialogue for two to three hours live so cheers to you and that's all just me i guess reputation practice 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 right doing all this like i guess i get better and better over time yeah so there we go we got a cleaner coming in morning evening worker needs to come in at five We'll have a morning shift and an evening shift and a night shift. We'll split it up. Same thing. Kind of like with the um, with the janitors, I guess, right? I guess we could go morning. Yeah, you know what? F that. That to that. Hang on a sec. You might be like, he's losing his mind. No, 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 no. I got this. I got this. That, 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 that. This is kind of what we did last time. We'll go like this. To this. Perfect. I think that's good. Okay. Yeah. I like that. So, cleaners, two cleaners, one on morning shift, the other on the evening shift. That gives us two stars. We'll make a whole schedule for the engineer here in a sec. Workers, we want on morning shift, evening shift. For right now, cashier. Cashier in stocking. That's what we'll do for right now. And then how much is the engineer? 750? I don't have enough money for that. That's not good. That's not good. That is not good. Oh, that is not good. I need how much money am I away? Am I am I close to any other monies? No. Brick. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. It's okay. I got a plan. I got a plan. Sell. 
there. Higher. Sporadic. You will come in two hours before. And then you will go work, 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 work. Work, 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 work. Work, 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 and then go home. Kind of thing. That should be good for the uh, engineer. $84 a day. Ooh. Okay. All right. Now. Now, 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 now. All I need to do is start sending stuff over. Let's do that. Let's do that. You are going to go to Oak Lane. You continue going there you continue going there you come off of that go to that let's go my lord what did i miss <laughs> did the update speak on if the monuments work now the update did not speak up upon that. They did not mention anything upon that, uh, on that, in that, with that. That's probably going to come with the future updates, the actual updates, and not like the hot fixes. So not yet. I learn something new every day. I like to think I do too. Get a loan and pay it right off, right away. Uh, you cannot get a loan in this game, I don't think. No loans. No loans because we're doing illegal activities here. <clears throat> so, let's go back to... I don't think the, uh, I don't think the Wells Fargo wants to be, uh, <laughs> financing the selling of oregano. Maybe they do. So let's see here. Let's see how this works. Oh, shoot. We have to open up the damn place. Okay, open it up. Here we go. Beep, beep is right. Let's go. We are now in full motion with the laundromat. Yeah? Hell yeah. People will be coming soon. Right? Maybe? Now, wait a sec. Can I still, like, can I actually put grass? Because I do want to put grass throughout here. There we go. Cool. Maybe I could have put grass before because it wasn't a, uh, it wasn't a actual commercial building yet. We'll do that. Go, go, perfect. Nice. Well, now I need to give it a pathway here. I don't look at decoration if people like actually uh, worry about decoration and whatnot. All right, here we go. First person of the day. Second person of the day. Laundry soap. You got it. Okay. That's somewhat, you know, that's a little money there. Now, this is supposed to give us money faster at times. $3. Hit him with the oregano. I only have toasted. Toasted. Yes. Toasted. Oregano. Oregano. Good. Three sixty-five. dollars Now we're cooking. Now look at that. They have like the little temperature gauge right there. Now let's see what this hot fix. Did the overlays fix temperature? It doesn't look like it. It actually looks, look at this. They've actually toned down the overlays. I think there was way more overlays here before, but now there isn't. Anyways. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe this overlay is cold. I don't know, dude. Couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you. Have I played have I played the game Vampire? I have not played the game Vampire. Vampire. So once we get oh god. I don't have a trash can in there. Ay yeah yeah. Alright, hang on. I don't I can't even afford a trash can. I owe somebody seven dollars. I'm negative seven dollars. Come on, sir. 
hurry up with your laundry, please, and thank you. Come on. Anytime now. Come buy some oregano from yours truly. Don't use the bathroom. This is the update? No, this is not the update. This is a hot fix. That's the reason why we started over from scratch is because I had to with the uh, with the hot fix. So let's see here. You. Can I buy you something? Let me buy you that. Sick. Buy you that too. Also sick. Are we closed? No. New worker comes in. Yeah, perfect timing. Look at that nice, very good transition there. Very good transition. I approve, I think. I think. Unless I, my eyes did me wrong there. Okay. So we can only be two stars for now. We'll get better stars as we progress. We need more money though. Hot fix the 75% loading thing. Yeah, so what happened is they fixed the 75% loading thing, but if you had a save file that did the 75% loading thing, uh, you had to restart. Unfortunately. There we go. There we go. Nice. Very good. Okay, so let's see here. We have only one moped. I think that's supplying this. Are we? No, we have two mopeds. Two mopeds. Two mopeds supplying the laundromat right now. Two mopeds taking care of uh, hotline orders, so to speak. Hotline orders? Is that what they're called? What the hell are they called? Dispatch. Yeah, sure. I do want to decorate this a little bit, though. I have, like, some flowers out here or something. Better, you know, than we did before. Oh, very good. Look at that. Six hundo. I'm trying to think. What is the next? Uh, it's 4,000? My God. 4,000 for the next one. Have a good one, Molly. Do take care. And thank you for the big generosity of the 20 gifted memberships. I do appreciate that. Thank you very much, Molly. Have a good rest of your evening for sure. Thank you so much for being so kind. Best restarting. You were mad the first time. Yeah, well, yeah, I've learned a lot since the first time for sure. I do kind of feel sad though, because like my last save, I wish I could. They look like CHP, don't they? They do look like CHP. Um, I do wish that I could at least like kind of see my old world again, but it's fine, I guess. It is what it is. All right, so the laundromat is officially closed now. Let's head back to here. Now, if we want to upgrade this. Compound. It's gonna be eleven thousand dollars. Now, once I get the laundromat up and going, as far as more um, more stock is gonna be. Well, actually, now thinking about it. Yeah, once I get more stock in here, I will then uh, make my mopeds start going to the university. Yeah, university. Oh, yeah, don't forget the freaking trash bin. Good call. Good call. Do I have enough? $43 for a trash bin? Is that enough? Please tell me it's enough. $50 trash bin. Well, I guess that's not unreasonable. There are $50 trash bins out there. Eh. The freaking steel ones or the metal ones, dude. I had to get a metal one because for so long, Bella would just knock over the trash can on the plastic ones. And I, I was like, what the heck is your problem, dog? What's your problem, dog? She is one of those dogs. She does, she is mischief, I will say. At her old house, we used to have web, we used to have cameras in our house. Posted all along the house. And, um, oh, this is bad. Wait a sec. Do you have a staff member here? Oh, frick, I don't. $500. All right, they're going to sit here for a sec. They're going to sit here because I think we might be... We're not even close. Okay, nope, they're not going to sit there. Head home. Head home. 
but um so what was i saying about the dogs oh yeah we had cameras in our house and bella would just jump on the kitchen counter and like just walk around the counter no big deal like it was crazy knock over trash cans and stuff like that and hey buy a trash bin jesus criminy thank you very much cash for giving me the cash to buy a trash bin i appreciate that thank you for the big generosity big hit there thank you very much that was very kind of you very kind of you indeed thank you very much there that was nice of you very very nice very generous of you very generous very very generous of you appreciate that big ups to you Vampire is based in a white chapel, London, in 1918. It's good to play, but it takes some getting used to. Ironically, you play a vampire who's a doctor. Yeah, I've never heard of, never heard of, I don't, maybe I have heard of Vampire. It came out a, a couple years ago, if I'm not mistaken, or is that newer? Maybe I'm, I'm mixing it up with another vampire game. That was nice of cash, wasn't it? Very nice of cash indeed. Cash given cash to remind of trash. <laughs> Appreciate that. I love I love that Willy Wonky emoji, dude. I love the fact that somebody took that that, that I forgot who did it, but somebody took that that picture from our Willy Wonka like stream on Halloween. I, I say Willy Wonka stream, but like the Corey stream that we had, and made it into an emoji. I thought that was freaking brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, there we go. I now will remember to get the trash bin now. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. My dog chews the plastic bins, so I had to go, go all metal. Luckily, I never had that problem with Bella with, like, chewing the plastic bin or anything like that. It was always just, like, I'm here. I'm knocking it over. Yo. I think I have a video of Bella knocking over the trash bin on my Instagram. This is not a shameless plugin. Go follow my Instagram account. Scroll all the way to the bottom and you can probably see Bella knocking over a trash bin. Oh my lord. That's hilarious. Now thinking about it. I gotta see for myself if that's even true. Hang on a sec. Did I do that? Oh, am I... Am I on something here hang on a sec i gotta take a look at this did i do i have it yeah is bella knocking over trash bins she is hell yeah i caught her in the act that little devil there we go fourteen hundred dollars that's a healthy amount that means our yes 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 okay finish this off over here perfect Come back over here. $1,400. And I think only the next thing we need to do really here is hire that nighttime worker, right? To work that shipping. Two. Yeah, two. Shipping. Sick. And I'll adjust this more as we go, too. Yeah, I'll adjust that as more as we go. Take me back. Perfect. <laughs> you have i've seen it sick we have to see that <laughs> anyways it is now starting to bring over the three hour mark i do hope y'all enjoyed what you saw in today's startup of a fresh new start in definitely not fried chicken i know like it was kind of like not a lot happening going on but that's i mean that's basically where we're at i mean we're just we're kind of grinding up that money, not putting ourselves in debt, slowly progressing. I think this early on, early stages of the game, it is part of that thing where it is, you know, very much so a slow grind. But I think we are now starting to churn uh, and get into the serious, uh, fast moving parts of this game as we go forward. Probably the next time I stream this, we're going to be going into Toasted, possibly the Amazonian, maybe another laundromat, things like that. But it's been a pleasure and honor to be with you all here today. Hopefully, if you enjoyed this, please make sure to hit the like button. Um, and thank you for the very, very most generous uh, gifts today. 
Thank you very much for the super chat. Cash, thank you for the massive super chat. I appreciate that. Uh, six Deadly Kids, thank you for the super chat. Generous super chat. Danielle Smith, thank you for the generous super chat and all the generous gifted memberships. And for like 50, I forgot how many people, 55 people we got new uh, gifted memberships to 55 people. That's incredible, incredible to see. I do appreciate that. Danielle with the 20 gift, 25 gifted memberships. Uh, Lizzie with the super chat. Betty with the super chat. Savvy Tech for becoming a member. Thank you for becoming a member as well. The Mix Squeeze for the super chat. Appreciate that. Tanya, Tanya, thank you for the generous, generous super chat as well. Molly Joe for the massive 20 gifted bomb as well. And Lizzie for the 10 gifted bomb. Also followed up by Darren with a super chat to go along with that as well. Uh, thank you all for hanging out with me today. Oh, Lizzie with a five gifted bomb too. T sorry, I, 25 I think from Lizzie as well. So 25 gifted from Lizzie also. Thank you all for hanging out with me today. And thank you all for all the people that also subscribe to the channel as well. Uh, best way to help support the channel is just liking the stream as well. You know, and that also helps out a lot. But uh, yeah, you can follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. Help support the channel in different ways. If you want to become a Patreon, you can do that as well. You can join the Discord to continue the conversation. Discord uh, link is in the description below. Other than that, other than that, I will be uh, streaming again tomorrow. So I will see you all tomorrow with another stream. And uh, with that being said, hopefully you all have a wonderful Friday. Enjoy your Friday. If you're gaming tonight or gaming this weekend, definitely go enjoy your gaming session for this Friday evening, Friday night. And I will see you all tomorrow with another one. And do as always. Take care.